Okay, let's see. Just make sure real quick that this is working correctly. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me get all my uh, windows situated here real quick. Okay. So, <laughs> this uh, is Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events for the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> um, similar uh, to the, the uh, previous uh, nonsense stream, which was several months ago now, I'm going to try to beat the whole game. Now, now the, the last game was pretty short, like just a couple hours. This one, I'm not sure. Because from what I remember, I think this game is like sort of a Metroidvania sort of thing. But uh, How Long to Beat only has listings for like the, the console versions. So who knows, this game... Uh, could be longer than that, and maybe we'd have to do a second part. But hopefully, considering that this is just like a handheld game that came out like forever ago and was a movie tie-in game, maybe it won't be that long. Uh, I I literally haven't like I I I barely remembered that this game even existed because I haven't played it since like. My age was single digits. Uh, so I, I guess I'll just uh, see how it goes. <laughs> oh, okay, so we do have saved games. Since it just said start there, I, I was worried we might have to deal with passwords because some Game Boy Advance games still did that. I'm not gonna bother reading this type of stuff. Although I do think, right away on this first screen, I do think it's a funny idea that canonically, in this game, Lemony Snicket is actually not an author, but a game developer. Right there, it says so. <laughs> he made a game as a, as a biography of some kids. <laughs> That's quite something. They each had their own agenda. This is nice. Uh, you see that? Oh. Oh my god, I remember this song so vividly. <laughs> what the heck? I don't remember this being the opening to the game, though. <laughs> this is really strange. <laughs> Do you have a dash? Do you hold down a button to dash? No. You just move that slow. Hmm. This is Lemony Snicket, <laughs> looking away from the camera. The object... Okay, R is the object interaction button. Oh, so this is like some, some earthbound menu stuff. <laughs> or should I say horrible? Ah, uh, great. I love it. It's terrible. That is a character portrait. <laughs> I don't think it's a good one, but it is a character portrait. Find some more so we can have a contest. Pick it up. So this is like a... That is also a character portrait of some kind. Okay, so... Select. Okay, so she can't get down there because she's too short. Hmm. Aha! 
I thought I misunderstood the directions. Here we go. So that's your morph ball. I told you this was a Metroidvania. Your morph ball is that you turn into the baby. Mmm, that's interesting. So since you have to actually interact to pick things up, you can't just like jump up and hit it. You have to get up here and stand there so that you can pick it up. And I just put a... That's weird. Oh, I just hit the screen capture button. I don't even know... Okay, B is what I have. <laughs> Weird. Look at that, that's odd. The way that the character is like, the character sprite is rendered above the gate. Even though they, oh wow, this, this, this little, this little text prompt is like, is like programmed to just run on like a timed cycle. But like, like they went through the bo the, the 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 trouble of bothering to give that gate like a perspective angle, and then they render the characters above it. Oh, we have to actually like use the item. Is that what the puzzle piece is? Yep. There we go. I'm learning. Oh. Okay, so this is like a mini game. What? Come on. <laughs> Excellent. Do I have to do this? Is this, like, required? I just have to have to do it until I I run out. I <laughs> It is really it is not clear how you're supposed to do this. I don't get it. Looks like it doesn't matter, though. It doesn't look like we were required to do that. And here he is. Ah, <laughs> uh, better give him our dangerous playthings. There's, there's the line. And here, while I didn't realize before, but yeah, those definitely are just screenshots from the movie. Pixelated and in black and white. <laughs> the story appeared to be a misunderstanding, and they all had a hearty chuckle about it. Oh, if only that were true. <laughs> Ah, uh, there he is. There's pixelated black and white Jim Carrey. Ah, I haven't seen this movie in forever. Ooh. Oh, that's weird. Look at look at look at Klaus there. Look at that. Like his whole sprite has like an idle animation, but just those single pixel black eyes are just completely still. <laughs> Zibble. <laughs> we should give him the benefit of the doubt. He, he did lock us in this room, but like, you know, these switches, he left switches in here for us to hit so that we can get out. A soup can, an ice cream scooper, and some sort hand-cranked device. We're gonna craft a gun. 
I'm like 90% sure that that's what happens. We craft a gun so that we can hit those switches out of just junk we find laying around. Apple cores. That's the ammunition. That is... <laughs> Ooh. This is a game painted shut, which means, I assume, eventually we're going to have... I'm just going to keep hitting that button for the screen capture, aren't I? Eventually we're going to have to find something. I bet the baby can go in there. Yep. A butterfly. Cadiddle hopper. If we can get close to it, we can add its data to his collection. So is this like a collectathon? Are you serious? Is, is this baby strong enough to break a brick wall? Really? Really? Yes! <laughs> That's excellent. Wow, this is a large level. She's just gonna eat this crate? She just, she, yep. Aww. This is like... What is in the background? Oh, it's probably just like leaves or something outside. I was like, what, are we like in a volcano? Is that lava? <laughs> you know, I am no expert. Uh, I don't know if I've ever seen a baby jump. That's terrifying. Something tells me these spiders are gonna, like, leap down when I go across. Let's see. Yeah, so you just run through. Just run through. Ah. You have stamina. And is is that I want to see. Is that regenerating health or is it just weird health? There's our ice cream scoop. Oh jeez, where are we? Oh. Butterfly. Okay, you can't do the uh down A to go through uh floors thing that you can in a lot of platformers. Uh, how does Klaus control? I'm trying to see if his walk speed is it. It feels similar, maybe marginally faster than Violet's walk speed, but it's definitely not a big difference. Wow, our uh, Morph Ball ability is definitely proving to be rather useful this early on. So what else did we need? A soup can? Aha! There's one now! <laughs> Yuck. Thank goodness it's empty. And now... Select an item. Oh, uh huh. Okay. Invention complete. What is this? Resident Evil 7? <laughs> it reminds me of uh, the spider puzzle. Better save our game just in case. You never know. Oh, yep, yep. That's, that's, that's it. Oh my god. <laughs> this. Oh. This is a game. I wonder if we 
just use this? A note. Whoo! <laughs> That's the best character portrait yet. Yikes. I wasn't even paying attention. He gave me directions. Down the stairs, to the right. Photographs of burned buildings. You see, if, if you... Wait, what? Photographs? Oh my gosh. Okay, so you have like a skill tree... So you need butterflies to be able to purchase things. An ice cream scoop upgrade. For 10 pictures? So butterflies like make the upgrades an available option. Pictures are like your experience points. You you do, in fact, use it for combat. That is something. Can you destroy boxes, or do you have to eat them? You have to eat them. You have to turn into the baby and eat them. That is... something. <laughs> oh, I got hit by a bat. I didn't even see it. takes multiple hits. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Uh baby. Oh, you got to you got to dark souls it though. Wait for your stamina to recharge. <laughs> what is this game? It's locked. Stage. That's got to be like I'm pretty sure that's got to be quite late in the game. Okay, you can't shoot down in the air. Oh, jeez, what? Oh my gosh, there's, there's so much. Ooh, that was like a trick shot there. Locked. Meet him in the kitchen. Okay, so... Hypothetically, we could go in there. But the story does not permit it. Hmm. Okay, so this is the exit here. Wow, it takes... This is so bizarre. Like, I get that, you know, it's... Oh my gosh. It's, like, gamey, right? Like, <laughs> there's only so many ways... Okay, okay, okay. There's only so many ways that you could turn this movie into a game. And this is not quite the worst way to do it. But... Um... That doesn't mean it's good. Kitchen. That's his sprite. <laughs> that's that. That's him. There he is. <laughs> that's not suspicious. That doesn't, you know, make me think maybe this man is harboring, you know, violent thoughts towards our main characters. Wofka. Find bricks and cement and cover the broken window. <laughs> Very clever. That was always my favorite part of the books. That clever writing there.
We need water. There's water. Gee, I wonder if we're supposed to go in here. Oh. What? What? Bellows, gasket, jam jar, shower head. There's our jam jar right there in the center of the screen. I assume like that other uh, thing at the beginning, these prompts are probably just on a clock. A component for my water pump. There's a butterfly. What is this? Ukulele? Ha ha! That's a collectathon joke. I'm a video gamer. Wow, this platforming is actually not very good. <laughs> what a surprise. Painted shut. So, like, what do we need? Like, a, like, a, just a. What do you call it? Was that just... We didn't seem to take any damage there. There's a, just a sound effect, but no actual... Oh, no, there's... It did do damage. It just didn't display for no apparent good reason. That baby just killed an adult man. He's gone. He disappeared. He's been completely obliterated. What... She has, like, a screw attack. Like a mid-air... What? Metroid got weird since the last time I played it. That doesn't make... <gasps> Hold on. <laughs> Wait, so... So, like, like... <laughs> Wait... So we're out there, we turn into the baby, we come in here, and then we can just transform again. <laughs> that, that makes zero sense. <laughs> Does Klaus have a weapon? Oh no, that's probably what we're making right now, isn't it? Or... Who knows? Who knows what's going on in this game? <laughs> Not me, that's for sure. Butterfly? Okay, so it's on like a cycle. So it should walk or fly. <laughs> Butterflies don't walk. Mm -mm, that's pretty, that's, that's, you gotta time that pretty well. Where does it stop? Right above the center of the fan. So, oh my gosh. There we go. There's our butterfly. There we are. Okay. <laughs> no. I promise I'm I'm not this garbage. It's just actually pretty difficult to control this. Oh, you can grab ladders in midair. You see this this game is is like really I don't even You can just stand in this. I saw like a like a like it's a purple puddle. I figured it'd probably like deal damage or something, but nope. Oh, those will deal damage though. What? This is what I was what I was gonna say is like this game plays like weird. It's it's like half and half with like whether it wants to be like realistic and like you have to go up to the platform and you know grab the item you can't just like jump up and grab it in midair but a ladder sure you can jump up and grab that in midair no problem no problem secret butterfly gasket so there's another part for our thing 
Oh, and we got some pictures. Where do we... Um, inventory. Library. Inventions. Okay, the water pump is what we're making now. And I assume that's Klaus's... Uh, I don't know if you'd necessarily call it a weapon, but it's his tool. So that's a capacity upgrade. I'm really curious, though, about these movie scenes. Like, are these... Are these just stills, or does this have, like, FMVs? That's what I'm curious about. I imagine it's probably just stills. But wouldn't it be... Interesting, at least. There's no way, though. Apple cores. It's literally just more... F Wait a second. So these come back. So you could basically just grind for these. Only. Is back. So he's leaving. That's quite an animation. Oh, dropped something. He very obviously dropped a rather large item. Oh, he dropped his invitation. <laughs> that is so strange. Broken window. I wonder... I'm surprised that you can't go through that window. How big is Count Olaf's house, and how many people are in here. Like, this is a rather large room, and like, there, there's a lot of people here. <laughs> oh, okay. So, hit that one. So is that all that that switch does? Is just... That's probably all it does. Huh. Okay, so I can go in here now. I just couldn't before. That's kind of strange that they would do that. Gate areas just by story. Because there's really no good reason that you couldn't go here first. It's just the game says you shouldn't yet. The story says you should go somewhere else. Oh. A C minus in acting like a tree, you know? Some of us wish we could earn that. Mark what? What? Did I just, like, accidentally start. A <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Did I just, like, accidentally start a side quest, like, halfway through it? Is that what's happening? Oh, yes. I remember. I remember this. <sighs> I wonder, you know... I wonder how uh, careful the books were with that particular subject. It's definitely been quite... Oh, I get it. Get it? Not very colorful. Huh. 
But yeah, I, I wonder, uh, you know, on, on the subject of that particular character. Just with how long it's been. I doubt that that, that uh, holds up very well. <laughs> A plus in his own... <laughs> in his own handwriting. Oh. What a character. What are these? <sighs> Book pages. This this seriously is a collectathon, isn't it? That we can find the bellows for our thing. So we have to find all of these to open the door. Whoa, I saw two butterflies there. Looks like we need our morph ball to get down here. Oh, I'm lacking the stamina. <laughs> that like screw attack is it's it's so bizarre every time like the the baby is probably the strongest character just because of that move like you basically only need the other characters to hit switches but like like this like Oh, never mind. This actually... I'm pretty sure it only took, like, three apples. So, that character... It's probably better... Uh... To use Violet. Is that all of them? Did I... How do I know when I've got all the book pages? When you have all six pages, press the A button here to begin entering the code. That's it? That's it? It's not even like... A, I mean, I guess for the sake of like the game not taking absolutely forever, it's probably better. But it is a little disappointing that that's not actually a room. It's just, uh, like... It's just you open the door and... There's the item you need. Speaking of items I need, what's the other one? Okay, so the so the items highlighted in in like white are the ones that we need, and then the ones that are more transparent are the ones that are just optional. I hit the screen capture button again. Oh, that was weird. Um, I remember saying a fireplace somewhere. What? You could just leave if you wanted to? I figured they were, like, locked in here or something, but the, they're... You... Even the front door is just... No, you can't leave because story reason. Ridiculous. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure this is... At the very least, I remember this being important at some point. Maybe not quite yet? Hmm. That is just completely nonsensical. <laughs> oh, are you supposed to... Oh, what? Was that here this whole time? That page? Aha, there we go. You're not supposed to break the box on that one.
Okay. 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 We're getting a uh, we're getting a little overwhelmed. Oh, this is where this is just that same spot. I don't need anything there. Where are we going? Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, so there's that. Here's this. There's that. Okay. Maybe if we go back here, there's something. I forget if this was locked or it's... Okay, so that one is locked. Jeez. Maybe there's somewhere else we can go. Like, where, where, does, where does this floating platform lead us? Why doesn't my house have floating platforms in it? Whoa, hello. What are you doing? So that must be that uh, side quest or whatever that we accidentally picked up. I think the bats are uh, by far the worst thing. Not a fan of the bats. They've got some pretty erratic uh, movement. Pretty difficult to actually uh, counter that. I don't think there's anything else in that room to do. Here's another page. Does this tell us, like, what we're... Oh, oh, okay. What is this called? Chimbley Sweep by Colin December. So that'll be important for something else later, basically. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything up here. I don't think I did. Wait. It's locked. Who puts a lock on their chimney? That's just bizarre. So, can you Oh. <laughs> there there's that that uh half-baked realism again there. Um, hmm. Let's try going back to where we found Count Olaf. Maybe he's returned, and we can give him the report card to have it signed. Or maybe... I'm stuck. Can't go through the windows, because those are boarded up. I don't think I... missed anything... You really could just come here and just, just grind for pages. Can't go here, because it's painted shut. I'm pretty sure we did everything there is to do in cold storage. Because... That appeared to be what... Uh, triggered the cutscene where Count Olaf left. Can I stand on top of that? Nope. Okay, don't 
doesn't look like we can go up there. Klaus doesn't, yeah, he doesn't have like a higher jump or anything. He's basically useless right now. I don't think we can reach that area. Hmm. Maybe I missed something here. That's basically the only option that I can think of at the moment. Sure would suck to have to look up a walkthrough for this game. So yeah, we can't actually go in there. Oh. I just completely missed this, didn't I? Okay, so... Middle one. Okay, middle, left, right. There we go. And this should be our next part. Butterfly... Uh, this must be, uh... The lady. Yep. All these questions could ruin your complexion. Hmm. What's this? So you open it like a door, and you get three butterflies just for that. That's quite a, an effect that they've uh, got going there. There's our butterfly. Shower head. Is that what we needed? Take that. Hmm. So we need to get her to leave the room so that we can take that. How can we do such a thing? There were other options. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Owned. That is brutal. Oh, we're gonna give her the invitation. There we go. That's how you do it. Okay. Now we take this. That's not... That's not... That doesn't even look remotely similar. Why is it round? That's clearly not round. That doesn't make any sense. So now... So he has a weapon now. Well... Weapon is a, is a, a rather loose term. He has a, a tool which I imagine can probably be used to... Like, let's let's test it on this guy. Yeah, it, it does damage. Not very much. <laughs> really not very much. <laughs> yeah, that does... That does virtually nothing. <laughs> Oh, no, no! <laughs> mm hmm So, now that we have something that we can do water with... That's annoying. 
that you can hit the switch and miss the enemy like that. Okay, so it, it appears so far that enemies are basically the only way to get health drops. So if you go long enough without fighting anything, you'll start to run into trouble. Is that it? Any broken windows back over this way. Do our puzzle pieces. There we go, we got three pages for all that. Now what do we do? I imagine we have to go find Olaf. There he is. Clean the chimney. How much water does it take to kill a spider? Okay, so the water is actually phenomenal. The water is actually really good because if you hold it, it basically, like, if you just tap it, it's terrible. But if you hold it, ah, you can't carry very much, though. That's the trade-off. If you hold it, like, it basically just completely ignores their iframes. Can you hit switches with the water? No, can't hit switches with the water. Gotta use the apple gun. So what else can we use the water for now? Okay. Hmm. Oh, we should give Count Olaf the report card now that he's back. I completely forgot about that. has he been up there? He's been up there a, a little while. <clears throat> a little while. Down here, and that hurts you. That's not very cool. Okay. Oh my gosh. Like, sometimes there's just so many enemies. So, okay, 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 okay. Hold on. Nope. Mm -mm. Alright, so now we give him the finish report card. That's a, you know, a good way to celebrate. What is this? Oh, rope. Okay. And that just unlocked itself. Okay. That makes sense. And here is... Okay. So we can... We probably could have just switched even in that first section. And I just didn't think about it because... The idea of being able to switch characters... In what seemed to be rather clearly a character-specific area, um, never qu 
quite dawned on me, but yeah, here they're just making it like explicitly clear, like yes, you you have to do that. Ooh, yikes. Wow, they're just, they're just flinging bats at us. That's a lot of bats. And I, ooh, paint scraper. So yeah, I was, I was right. That is literally how we're going to bypass those, those doors. And I didn't even hit that lever. Which I imagine is probably important. Oh, it just gets us back. I can't. Okay, I, I see. I see what's happening. Taking a lot of damage, that's what's happening. <laughs> and just taking more. Please give me a heart locket. Please? Please? No? Nothing? Okay. Rude. Okay, that that <laughs> that bat had a little trouble there. Oh my gosh, we're gonna die. Not yet. We're getting close though. We're getting a little dangerous. Okay. Oh. I get it. I understand. So now that we have the paint scraper... have to go like over here or something we have to go to the the window in this room <clears throat> I like how you just you just absorb water by standing in it like there's not even like an animation of your character like refilling it or anything you just you just you just absorb it through your skin I don't quite understand what the, the tool icon does, but it's the puzzle piece that we need. Okay. Wow, you gotta hold that down for a little while. That's locked, so that's probably another... Uh... Okay, how come you can absorb water through this pipe, but you can't absorb water through the rain? That doesn't- that's a lot of butterflies. Uh, where, 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 where? Where did they go? They were like... All right. So Klaus can't climb ladders, apparently. He has a little trouble with that one. Okay, all right. Find the box. Okay, you can find hearts inside of things like boxes. We've just gotten incredibly unlucky so far. He's afraid of heights, so he can't climb ladders, and yet he can jump up a tree. Okay. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense. I thought we could water the, the leaves or something. 
for some reason, I, I just got this like little feeling in the back of my mind, like maybe that's something you're supposed to do. But what I just did right there clearly was not something that you're supposed to do. Because now I need to go all the way back to the bottom and start over. I'm getting I'm getting a little bit better at this uh, this game's unique brand of platforming. Unique is uh, the word I've chosen, but not necessarily the word I think the game deserves. Okay, so even even those enemies respawn after a little while. How big is that platform? Not that big. Okay, so... Oh, shortcut! Dark Souls. Rooftop. There's a... Oh, oh my gosh, what? <laughs> Wait, that's... <laughs> that's it? Oh my gosh, I'm going to forget every single time that he can't climb ladders. That's quite a game over screen. Maybe the characters don't have iframes. I thought that... I thought that that animation... was invincibility, but maybe not? What's going on here? Please look down. Huh. I can't look far enough down to be confident that- Oh, butterfly. There's a lot of butterflies. Something like 200 or something. And I'm dead again. I like that he just stands in a spotlight and just kind of- just kind of kicks the ground. Like, oh, fooey. Oh wow, there's a lot of books. This is just what we have. Kansas Bills. There's got to be at least room for like a couple dozen books there. I mean, I know like this is only the first area out of three. Oh my gosh. It seems... Oh, that's right. He can't climb ladders! <laughs> Violet, on the other hand, can grab them in midair, but he can't touch them at all. That makes sense. I want to see, do we collect water even when we're not Klaus? Yes, we do. Even if that's not the character that we're actually playing as, it'll still refill our water. Okay, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't think, I don't think, dang it. I don't think enemies do have um, invincibility frames. I think I was mistaken on that. So you can just mash, and that'll take care of that. Oh, wow, I hit that spider from all the way over there. I'm just not even going to worry about it and take the damage. Oh, oh. Well, thank goodness I didn't die there. Oh, nope, nope, that's bad. Um, there's a platform down here. A floating one. A tiny floating platform. Not trying to take too many risks here. 
This is a rather lengthy screen. I like how I say, I'm not trying to take too many risks, and then I just, just run through enemies, tanking damage. Why not? Why not? Okay, okay, okay. I got all the way here, and now I'm gonna die. Okay. Do a little, do a little puzzle piece. There's our rope. Go back to the fireplace. Why? Why would the game just do that? I mean, like, I may as well just go back now. If they're gonna teleport me without asking if that's what I want to do. I want to see if I missed anything over here first. What's on that rope? What's hanging there? It's probably just the platforms in the lower section. And that just leads back over where we were. I am a little surprised that, like... Oh, wow, that was a lot of damage. I am a little surprised that, like, the way that they're using, like, the apples as signposting, like you would usually see in, like, a collect-a-thon, it really isn't that bad. Like, it's really not bad at all. I don't necessarily think that the rest of the way that the game communicates navigation is very, uh, clear. <laughs> but, like... I expected this to be pretty uh, rough around the edges, and it's not quite as bad as I figured it would be. That said, if it weren't for the fact that I, I was curious about this game, having played it when I was much younger, uh, I don't think I would have the patience to sit through however long this game ends up being. Okay, we got something here. Hmm. We're getting rather close to being dead. Okay, there's a half heart, and we just lost it. <laughs> I wonder if we've almost finished collecting all the pages for that book. Oh, 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 oh. Um, pro gamer tip. Never let an actual baby fall that far. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, gamer pro tip. Never let any person actually fall that far. <laughs> or anything close to that. If this is the chimney, how big is the rest of the house? Like, you could have a party in here. Chimney. Why do you even need the rest of the house? This chimney could contain, like, the city's population. Oh, 
Okay, okay. I take back everything I said about getting better at the platforming, because clearly I'm not getting any. <laughs> anything on this side? Okay, no. That's the spot I already got. Honestly, so far, other than, like, the, the way that the game communicates how you're supposed to explore being not great, I think the weakest element of this game is just the aesthetic. It's really plain. But, like, what, what do you expect for a, a movie-licensed game from how many years ago? Fifteen years ago or something? Like, if... if, if I, I don't think anyone would reasonably go into a game expecting more than this. We've done the chore. Ronic. That's also not a word. It's close, though. Oh, wait, what? Chimbly sweep. Have I got... I'm missing page one. Can't fit through this opening. Oh wow, oh wow. It like, it like loads all of them and then it like resets back to zero. That's weird. It's interesting. But it is weird. I feel like there was another spot somewhere in the game where there was a window. Maybe I'm misremembering that. Here's the count. Dub dud. Huh. Ice. What? Did this game just have canned laughter for that joke that just happened? Is that... did I hear that correct? Okay, seven branches. Wait, how am I gonna get them? That's funny. What else do you have to say? Did he just threaten to cut our toes off? That's rude. So... Do we just collect the branches, or is there... do we need another invention to actually do it? Hmm, there's just an icon on the screen now. Maybe we just go and grab them. Hmm. one. Ah, we use them. Dang it. That's what every game needs. Every game needs a <laughs> launch forward button.
Oh my gosh. At least if you've already jumped, it doesn't move you that far. I love Dark Souls. It's basically the same game. If you think about it. Two more branches. There's one. Just one more somewhere. Where could it be? Her jump is shorter than Klaus's. What? <laughs> like, he can make it no problem. She... she can make it. Maybe they are the same, and it's all in my head, but... That seemed like it was easier as Klaus. Please look down. It takes ages for that to actually pan down. Okay. I want to see... Thirty-five butterflies. So let's unlock that. It's just a different colored can. How does it fit more stuff in it? Okay, I want to unlock one of these. Okay, it is just a screenshot. It's a color screenshot. It's not a black and white screenshot like in the, uh, the cutscenes. But it is just a screenshot. And wow, look at just the... the, the dead expression on Klaus's face. <laughs> that is... Ooh. <laughs> that, that is a face of, of just complete pain. That's all that's happening right there. I don't want to spend too many of my pictures on these because I want the upgrades, but man, I'm real curious about some of the uh, <laughs> the crust. That ends up on there. Oh, that's right. We gotta, we gotta use the window. He said he returned the door, and yet there's a door right there. So Olaf's back over here. What's he got to say to us now? He told us. I mean, that, that is the point. Oh, he's gonna steal the paint scraper back? Ah, uh, there he goes. Oh, geez, there's like way, way more stuff in here now. Look at all those. What? actually whoa okay <laughs> i was just about this is quite this this is quite a way to start a level just just spawn the character behind the lamppost oh hey it's what 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 there's still <laughs> there's still people out here trying to kill us 
It's Justice Strauss. I remember her. I saw the movie and read the book. She already knows who we are. In the movie, that makes a little bit of sense. Uh, but I don't think the game ever introduced her to us yet. I left my cookbook on the patio. A as people often do. I know I've left the cookbook on the, on, on the porch. You know, periodically it happens. Oh, she meant, she meant like a, like, like a, like a, like a window patio. Like, 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 okay. Like, really, are her expectations any less dangerous than Olaf's? If she wants us to climb up the side of her house from, from the, the window panes? To, to get a cookbook? Quite something. Private elevator. Key activated. Okay. Um... Tomato stained man. Right. <laughs> okay. This is my favorite character so far. Blamo. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, get it. Wait, what? So this guy... Oh, it's because my inventory's empty. Also, also, I never noticed that before. Quests! Literal quests. Literal, actual, quests. 31%. Quests! Quests. I do like that it gives us not only how many butterflies in the game total there are and how many we have, but also for the area, so we know we know what we've missed. It's nice, it's nice. Good game. Good game. Oh. Bad game. Bad game. Terrible game. It's got some nice features, but uh, unfortunately the, the platforming, which is like the main mechanic of the game, is not a very good one. Oh wow. That is an unfortunate event. So he wasn't even, like, pelted by tomatoes. Like, they just kind of accidentally fell out of someone's window. So really, not only is his suit ruined, someone else has to go buy groceries again. Because they dropped all their tomatoes. What? What? What a predicament. There's two butterflies and a page. I don't like that. I don't like how in order to get certain items, you have to just, like, jump off of ledges and repeat platforming that you already did. <laughs> I also don't like when you screw up your platforming and have to do the same thing, but I suppose it's a better punishment than just having the character die and having to repeat even more. There's the cookbook. Can we go on top of the house? Yes. This is safe. This is safe. I do this all the time. Climb around on the roof. So the rest of those must be up that elevator. Oh my gosh, there's so many. There's so many butterflies that are just hanging out in the air that you gotta jump off the building to get. 
which is a very safe activity that I would recommend everyone do. Okay. 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 <laughs> Hmm. I'm not a huge fan of the music, but I will at least say that it is reminiscent of the music from the film. So, if nothing else, they did kind of get that right, even if it's not very good. <laughs> it is appropriate at least and I think we'll get the butterfly if we do this nope it's closer to the left building I want this butterfly this is a hundred percent run now I don't think it actually will be just just it's a joke Give her the cookbook. Hmm. Good food can't be rushed. Ah, yes. I remember that. Coupons. Hell yeah. Justice Strauss knows how to coupon. What is going on there? Is that water? Is that a chain? Is that... Like... Like... I don't get quite what's going on there. Is this a washing machine? Just, 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 just here? Diamond C brand washing machine. Just, just, I mean... People need washing machines, you know. That, oh, this is, a, this is considered a different area with nine more butterflies. Lionel Ricky. Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that is unfortunate. Is he part, is he part of, of the, it's, it's down there, buddy. I wonder if he's part of the, uh, the organization. Is that Comic Sans? <laughs> oh no. Vegetable vendor. Coupon. Is it a popular recipe? I've literally never heard of this dish outside of this particular series. Might need... How many items are you gonna give us, bro? Fella? This is quite a walking animation. Like, there's a lot of, you know, like the... The arms are really stiff. <laughs> um, oh, that's right, we need to go... Here. Key... Oh, it just respawned, I see. Uh... How dare you.
Oh. Um. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen an apartment with a secret hidden bridge that extends from the wall. But, you know. I've only been in so many apartment buildings. Who knows, you know? Oh, I didn't... I didn't get the butterfly. There we go. I got it. Mm. Okay. Oh. What is happening? Why are we getting a suit? Why are there so many enemies here? Ah. Uh, so now we give the suit to Mr. Tomato Man. This is like, um... This is like one long... That is a large tomato. This is like one long trading sequence. Probably bring the tomato back to the vegetable salesman? Maybe? Oh my gosh, I'm out of apples. Plenty of water, though. No, I can't even interact with him anymore, so clearly that's not what we're supposed to do. We don't give her the tomato. We don't have coats. That was all we needed? Just the tomato? Okay. Hmm. Wonderful face. What's going on? Is this is this moving out of sequence from the uh Oh, this is a this is a boss fight, I remember. I remember. I remember a little something or two from this game. Probably just... That was it? Oh, here's the real fight. I see. So is she invulnerable to water then? Oh. What about 
about the baby. Water is important. I don't know quite in what way. How far back does it put us? Don't you dare avoid me. So is that it? Just, to, just don't get hit enough times? Okay, so just... That's all? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you just, you just... You just don't get hit. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a mini game. Oh, I forgot about the gnome. <laughs> oh wait. Oh, that's right. Oh my gosh, we have to hit them both? I do remember this. Is it in a set order? Is it still just going to be this one? Yep. further this way. Okay. Ooh. Okay. We're doing good. I remember when I saw the movie in theaters, uh, I think my dad knew uh, how the movie started. He, he tried to play a practical joke on me that we might have walked into the wrong movie. Which is very humorous. Is that it? Did we win? A lot of the... <laughs> I like that they, they tried to incorporate the jokes from the movie, at least. But... Like, the setup for most of these jokes isn't actually in the context of the game. So it doesn't really work. <laughs> Wagtoe. Oh, there he is. Bite into the crate and push it. This is weird. This is like tutorial stuff. And also, he just told an infant to bite what appears to be a metal box. That's an ink guana. The ink they spit can stain a shirt for generations. Okay. Got 
Gotta find somewhere else to put the fish. What is this? A little disappointing that this doesn't have a a new song that they're just reusing the song from the previous area. But what can you do? Can't go in that crawl space for some reason. Butterfly. Hmm. Oh, where did that mosquito come from? different colors of ink. Let's get this butterfly. Oh, you could make like a like a butterfly meme. It would work perfectly. Okay, this that's something. The down way. Do we have all those? We don't have nearly enough pages of that book. Definitely not suitable for fish. How long will it take me to remember that he can't climb ladders? Is the... Is that glass sufficient for fish holding? We have to find water to put in it first. Also, book? Oh! Oh wait, that's... It's the wrong book. I don't have any pages for that book, it's just defaulting to whatever the first book in the inventory is. Okay. Oh, okay. Come on. Sometimes the screen gets a little busy with all the enemies. We can go up there. Yeah, I don't think we can wait. Could we just stand on... We can stand 
on like a, a candle. Why can you stand on a candle? That's bizarre. That doesn't seem like something you should be able to stand on. Is there a candle up here? There is one. But we still can't get up to that platform. So it's not terribly useful. We're kind of running out of ammo for everything. Antique phone. No dial tone. So it's not working. So that's where we've been. What's upstairs? Butterfly. Oh, oh, okay. <sighs> I like how, like, people just show up in these houses. Oh, water, finally. Okay, whoa. Wait, what? Perfume ladies here? What the heck? Okay. This is unfortunate. Fastest movement in the game is. Okay, so you really shouldn't try to get the ink guanas with the baby. Uh, you can make it, but it's definitely not ideal. You don't quite get enough frames of invincibility from your roll. It is Dark Souls. Um, you don't quite have enough invincibility frames to make it all the way through the iguana's hitbox all the time, since it's as long as it is. So you gotta be careful. another page of some book. Who knows which one it is. Can we go to Gustav's room yet? Nope. It probably would be bad manners to go to Gustav's room at all, because I'm pretty sure he's dead. Isn't that part of the story? I haven't read the movie, oh my gosh, read the book or watched the movie in a little while. Words are hard. It's hard to, it's hard to use your words. I 
Wasn't there like another door around here or something? Maybe not. Oh, you know what? We probably have to use the... I don't know why I didn't think about that sooner. We probably have to use... Nope. Maybe not. We can't, like, uh... Equip it or anything, can we? No. We have unlocked another tier. More water. How much was the other one? Yep. Faster apples. I will take that. Absolutely. Go ahead and fill up the water. I guess we'll go back downstairs and make sure we didn't miss anything else there. Oh, I thought there was a door somewhere. Uh, we should stay in Babby form. Hit the lever. What does that do? Oh, hmm. Oh, n hmm. Stefano, quote unquote. That's that's interesting. So right there, that was Count Olaf impersonating Stefano, impersonating Gustav. But really, it's Jim Carrey playing the character. Virginian wolf snake. You can talk to it. Excuse me? Please do not disturb me. I am writing. Snake's writing. Damn. Damn. Ladder in the back garden is broken. We can't even get to the back garden, can we? Hmm. Wait, are these... Are these papers all shit that the snake wrote? Because that's a lot of paper. So we need to get in from the upstairs window. Hmm. Oh, oh, I okay. Uh, hmm. Well. That is quite something. Is there actually a way for me to get to that page? Oh, that's probably... That, that thing in the floor, that platform, probably floats up if you solve a puzzle or something.
Gustav was always an accurate judge of beauty. <laughs> All right. Whatever. Oh, wow, that was weird. Took a little bit for the camera to readjust. I like how he's like, here's the key, and it shows up like probably a good few yards away from him. Like, he had to chuck that for that to end up over there. Oh, uh, where was... No, 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 no. Gustav's room was upstairs, I think. We go up here, and then we go all the way to the left. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this game really does not know when to quit with the enemies and the obstacles and the projectiles. Nope, nope, not the, not, nope, nope, not, no. There we go. Check and make sure Gustav's room is in order. Uh, well, it's mostly fine. The furniture's all set. It's, it's just, you know, there's, uh, a, a man has snuck into the room and several iguanas have gotten in here somehow. But other than that, sure, room's in order. Oh, I hear a perfume lady. Oh, no, it's not perfume lady. It's just mini boss lady back for another shot. Okay. You know, you would think... Ah, oh, damn. You would think, like, with all these intruders in the house, that they'd be like, hmm... All of, like, Count Olaf's goons are here. Do you think he's here, too? Do you think he's planning something? Like, like, do you think maybe, like, we should let someone know? Should we tell them that something weird's happening? You know? Like, has, has Uncle Monty not realized that there's, like, at least, like, a dozen or so strangers in his home. I mean, I know it's a big house. So, maybe he just hasn't checked every room? I guess if he heard someone walking in another room, he would, oh my gosh, he would just assume that it was like an iguana running around or something. Uh, let's turn into our morph ball, and it was just butterflies. Butterflies are good, but could be better. Ah, come on. Finding a lot of book pages. How's our progress? We've still only finished the one that is essential for the plot. I hope there's no other books that are essential like that. 
What? Can we not stand on candles anymore? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can only stand on candles in the main hall. Once you're in Gustav's room, all of a sudden the candles lose their, like, you know, they're not, like, physical objects anymore. I don't, I don't quite know how that works, but I'm not a candle expert. So far, that- oh my gosh! Two biggest obstacles in the platforming are just- just figuring out, um, like, one, what you can actually stand on or not, and then, like, figuring out how, like, Like, how long do you have to press the button to, like, actually get enough air to get anywhere? What's that? That's just a picture. So that doesn't really get us anywhere. Oh my gosh. The momentum's really funky, too. Does this count as making sure that it's in order? Do we need to do anything else? We killed a bunch of enemies in there. Do we just have to go talk to Monty again? Not a huge fan of how uh, unclear this section of the game is in terms of what you're supposed to be doing. Which really, that's been a problem for the whole game, but this I think is definitely the worst that it's been so far. Monty's moved. He's gone somewhere else. Does that mean we've made progress? <laughs> oh, game. So that's what they want me to do. Why couldn't... Maybe the game did say something earlier, but I I don't I don't recall the game saying up until now that we had to get water from that room. So now we've got to go all the way back now that we've learned what it even is we're supposed to be doing. Jeez, how, how much water does it take? Too much. Oh my gosh, it takes so long to actually start shooting that. So, Gustav's got a fountain somewhere. Where is your fountain, Gustav? How did I miss it? Like how like I, I thought that I would have like seen a fountain and I would have been like Oh look water for that thing I need So this is just straight up the boss again. Still gives a lot of XP to be fair. Oh, 
Okay. You see, I was I was thinking that might have been something. <sighs> I just didn't think that was how you did it. I figured we would have to get a different item and come back later, but nope. Okay, is there a platform down there? Sort of, but not really. There's the fountain. How do we get that butterfly? Oh my gosh, that's... Well, I don't really have to ask the question anymore, because we just got a ton of them. Sure, just make it so that she can, can throw perfume onto the section where you go to recharge. Very nice. Why does perfume deal damage in the first place? What is it made of? What is the chemical composition of this perfume that it can cause, like, serious injury? button to absorb ink. Okay. Here we are, the reptile room. Now, there's a lot of areas of, the, of, of this game that I at least vaguely remember, but I really don't remember this at all. The incredibly deadly Riper. <laughs> I hope he lives in an incredibly safe container. <laughs> will harm you if you're prepared. <laughs> okay. <laughs> evergreen planks in the evergreen forest behind the garden. Sample storage. Oh my gosh, 30. I mean, I can... I've got plenty, but like, 30? Really? Riveting, engaging gameplay. What book was that even for? Hmm. 
Who knows? It looks like it was for a new book. Like one that I haven't even found before. 20 reds. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> I had, had a little trouble getting onto that ladder. Okay, get all the way to the top. There, okay. So if I stand, how do I get rid of the ink? Do I have to use it all up? Oh, wrong. Okay, wow, we just die? Or maybe I'd just taken enough damage. It, it's, like, just now hitting me that, like, the collectibles in this game are apple cores and pictures of burned buildings. Like, that's what you collect instead of coins. One. Two. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Doing something right. Okay, that one's not ready yet. Chomp. Oh, whoa, what was that? What? 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 Spyglass. Where is it pointed? An inky newt. How do we get feed it? Feed the snake. Come on, let me go. Please? Oh, you have to mash the face buttons. You can't just mash the directions. You gotta mash the face buttons. Oh, what is that? A chair? Oh. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else down there? Just the chair and a, a bouncy drum? Okay. Hmm. I feel like this area of the game is kind of, like, like, this is kind of where the game is getting to the point of, like, okay, there's too much stuff here. Let me get this. Oh my gosh. Like, there's just, there's just platforms everywhere. It's like those old, oh no. 
know. It's like those old, like, Sega Genesis games and stuff. Where, like, the, the level design is just utter chaos. And I'm dead. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and save the game. Because you never know. The basic nine. Hmm. Hit him. I'm just like, oh my gosh. Fly. And then hit the last one. What did that do? Hit the lever? Hit the lever! What is that? Is that the Silent Hill Pachinko? Is that what that is? door has opened and we're dead again hopefully one can dream that that door is still open perhaps Maybe. We're very lucky, yes. Printing room. Oh, we're gonna get the printing press that we can give. And there's powder or whatever in here, too. We can get the printing press and give it uh, to our snake friend. There it is. I guess we're, what are we gonna do? Pick up the whole thing? This is absolutely bizarre. Printing press. Just, just, just take it. It's too big. Maybe if we took it apart. Disassembled printing press. There we go. So that's the first time in uh, two hours and 15 minutes that we've had to use that button. Because every other time I've tried to use that button, it said, hey, that's actually not a good idea to do that right now. That's what it sounds like to me. I know that's the, the wrong uh, series of children's books, but that's what it reminds me of. So let's bring the printing press to the snake. Oh, he's gonna be... So he'll be in the forest, so... 
I assume that means we needed to do that anyway in order to progress to wherever we're gonna find whatever. <laughs> whatever it ends up being. Guest room. I don't remember... Maybe we don't need to be here quite yet. Although now I've moved the box, so we may as well check. I don't, I don't, no, I don't think there's anything else we need here. I'm pretty sure we need to go all the way to the left in this room. I think that's where the path to the garden was, though I may be misremembering that. We need red. Oh, there's a... a <laughs> and we're dead. Red dead. We're playing a bit of a different game. We're playing a game like Dark Souls. spitting away. That's probably enough. And, okay. There we are. What is that? Lunchbox? Milk delivery box. Is it locked via snake jar? That makes sense. That's how I lock, you know, everything. That's how I lock my front door. That's how I lock my computer, my phone, you know. Some people input a four-digit code to unlock their phone. I, uh, spit, a uh, colored liquid into a snake jar. It's more humane. Okay. Oh, great. Okay, that's, that's... That's enough of that. Okay. I think I've reached the point where I, I just kind of feel like, like, this whole game is... It's not the worst thing. <laughs> I'm probably just trying to make excuses for it, because it really is not anything special. Or, oh, or, <laughs> there we go again. At least it's lenient. Virtually infinite continues. You know, it's not like the game ever just, like, kicks you out of anything and says, nope, you gotta go, you know, start all the way over. You gotta start the level over, or, or even worse, I mean, not necessarily worse, but like, I mean, I guess it is kind of worse considering how uh, poor I've been at consistently saving, um, but you know, at no, at no point has the game gone like, you know, oh, you have to continue from your previous save rather than just the start of the room. Oh, 
I want to get at least 50 of these. This is not good gameplay. What do all these markers mean? 25 feet, 29 feet. At least the water pump does, like, good enough damage that if we do have to waste some of it killing enemies, it doesn't take very much to kill an enemy. But it is still annoying. jump? Yes. What's over here? A snake that will eat us if we're not careful. Another butterfly. See, Klaus... Okay. Klaus has a more determined run than, say, this. Which I actually think is funny, like, because <laughs> that's that's actually how a lot of games uh, differentiate, like, like gendered characters a lot of the time. Like in Dark Souls, like, virtually like the only difference between the male and female characters is a slight change in like the uh, the posture, essentially. <laughs> And, like, sometimes you can see, like, uh, maybe not in Dark Souls. I, it, it only happens in some of the games. You can see uh, female character models, like, default to the male posture. And then it, like, takes a second for it to, like, adjust back to the female posture. <laughs> Which is humorous. Oh, wow, that is an animation right there. Oh, it didn't do it that time, but, but, like, let's see if I can make it happen. Like, like that, like, falling down just over and over again. I wonder what made that happen. Okay. It seriously feels like, like, half the time the game is just eating my inputs. Maybe half the time is a bit extreme, but very often. Hmm, what is this? Pliers? Is that what that is? Yeah. Wonder what I would need those for. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Oh, it's broken. Oh. Do we have to go all the way back for that now? Oh no, I just remembered. At some point we needed a ladder piece. Here's the Virginian wolf snake again. Follow the ladybugs.
ladybug going? This is bizarre. I definitely don't remember this game having like a Lost Woods style segment like straight out of Zelda. I should be using Klaus since it seemed like he had a, maybe a slightly better jump, but I don't want to waste a bunch of his ammo considering that we basically have to use it to open doors at the moment. Nope, nope, he's still going, still going. We made it. What? <sighs> Just run the treadmill and hit the switch. Don't disturb the snake. Oh, okay. Oh, hello, who are you? Well, what do you want? Put together the printing press. That's what we need now. Yep. Yep. That's what we need. So now we need something to feed the snake. What do you say? <laughs> Sometimes the peaceful countryside is exactly what I need. But sometimes it's a prison. Damn. Okay, so he's not gonna give us the plank until we get that newt. Where's this go? Cloudy Cliffs Court. I don't think we're ready for this yet. Hmm. 
Please, please. No, why? Please. Please. <laughs> And now we sit here for like half a minute and spray this thing with ink. Get purple now. Please spit. Please. Oh my gosh. Uh, that is that is not spit. <laughs> oh. Oh, and we're all the way back here. Great. What more could you want? this guy got a, a treadmill <laughs> leading to the door why oh my gosh what <sighs> what did that do nothing cool <laughs> literally nothing those down is what it did. Your your character is like is like sticky. You try to jump off of something and it like <laughs> you can't do it. Violet seems to be the tallest. And I've fallen, and I've gotten munched by the snake. <sighs> I feel like this has slowly transformed from a normal playthrough into a how not to play some shitty Game Boy Advance game that no one's ever heard of before. And no one, oh my gosh, no one in their right mind would actually want to finish this.
actually know if this does anything, but looking back and forth seems to increase the chance, somehow, of the iguana actually shooting ink instead of doing something else. Okay, not up there. We need to go the other way. Oh, <laughs> class can't climb ladders. Okay, so now we get to do this again. It takes so long. <laughs> and what did that do? Oh, great. So, he, he's giving us a couple of the pages of this book, but this book isn't actually useful or even available until we get to the third act of the game. So, that was pointless for now. Great. Great. And I can't even get back down there without coming back this way. Is this game even real? Is this just like a fever dream I had when I was a kid and I'm re-experiencing it now? I need to go back up there again. Because that's the only way to get back to the house. <laughs> because we can't go to the right. Because for some reason, we're just not ready for that yet. Platforming is so bad. <laughs> okay. You know, I just thought if those doors were locked again. When we died, are they going to be locked again? Now that we're coming back through the area? Or after a certain point, does it save it? Maybe it saved it by this point. Who knows, though? that. Oh. Okay. Oh, wait a second. It spawns you facing right. Why? That doesn't make any sense. You came from that direction. Why would you want to immediately go back? So this one comes back, but that other one didn't for some reason. the ladder piece. It's so far away. <laughs> oh my gosh, we have to go all the way through the, this hall again, and then we're gonna have to go all the way back. 
to where that ladder is. And then we're gonna have to go all the way back to the newt room. Okay, where's the ladder piece? <laughs> so there's the ladder piece. <laughs> and now we go all the way back. This song is going to haunt my dreams. It kind of already did, though. Oh, and I'm dead. I mean, I couldn't believe, like, like as soon as I heard it, I, I immediately was like, oh my god. I, I completely... I'm out of apples. Excellent. Just what I need. Okay. Can I afford any more upgrades? Nope. Seven more butterflies, though. And I'll have two more available to buy. gate again, don't I? Yep. Give me some spit. Oh my god. not quite as many apples as I would have liked to have collected by now, but hopefully it should be about sufficient for now. So finally, we got the ladder piece. Hopefully we can fi okay, we fixed it. Just so that we can go back into the same room and get some pillows. Does it tell us these would help keep the snakes? Very comfortable. What? 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 Oh, okay. So is, is that what we need for the snake in the Inky Newt room? I hope. Because I'm going to go to the Inky Newt room and see if that's what we need. I really hope that <laughs> this doesn't end up just being a waste of time. <laughs> that's the snake eye socket. What if I give him this? Pliers. What does he need this for?
So now all he needs is the evergreen flame. Here's the new room. It's not the inky new. Twenty-five green. I only have eighteen green. Inky Nook Nook. We can't leave yet. Do you? Are we going to give the snake milk? Is that what's going to happen here? Heart? No. Suitable for crying babies, cats, and cold cream soups? Are we supposed to make a soup for it? Is this... is this... okay. <laughs> Alright. So, we straight up can't leave the room. The game at this point is just straight up saying like no, this is this is where <laughs> this is where you're at. You need to be here. Oh my gosh. Oh <laughs> Okay. this this does not refill If you turn into a baby. I don't know why I thought that would work. He 
says to feed it. Why can't you feed it a human? I mean, just think about it. Clearly, that's not the solution. I'm gonna look it up. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm going to Google. Going to Google right now. You know, I can't think of any good reason why Google would have the answer, because no one knows what this game is. Okay. Uh, feed snake. Supercheats.com Need to know how to feed the snake. Uh... That is... That's... That's a... Hmm. Hmm. Okay. The solution. That's what it is. You suck up a snake, and you have the snake... Or you suck up a fly, and have the fly eat the snake. The snake eat the fly. I'm bad at the English language, okay? It's the only language I know. That doesn't mean I'm good at it. But yeah, that's what it is. You suck up a fly, and you, you spit the fly out at the snake. And while the snake's eating the fly, you pass. Now, I don't think at any moment uh, the game has ever said that, uh, you know, that the, the bellows were capable of doing that. I, I don't know why any player was supposed to assume that you know, the snake, a creature which can eat a human whole. Uh, a live human whole, in fact. I, I don't know why anyone playing this game was supposed to assume uh, that that sort of snake would think that a literal, like, flea was an appropriate meal. Um, but, you know, I've never designed a video game, so who knows? Maybe it's a, a perfectly acceptable solution. I'm not an expert. I'm willing to admit this. People who made series of unfortunate events for the Game Boy Advance, they're the real experts. They know what they're doing. Hey, uh, Green Ink Guana? Thank you, thank you. Give me, give me the ink. That's not ink. That's, nope, nope, you're, you're close. You're doing the right animation, just the wrong thing's coming out of your mouth. Okay, okay, I give up. This should be enough to get through the door anyway. You know, people complain about, like, backtracking and, like, Metroid Prime and games like that. That is absolutely nothing compared to this. Like, this. Now this is backtracking. I mean, it is. That's, that's, that's what's going down. You know, this is, this is like, sending me down memory... As, as much as, like, I, I absolutely hate this game, it is kind of sending me down memory lane a little bit. Like, I'm thinking, like, there's a ton of, like, Star Wars games for the Game Boy Advance that would be fun to play like this. Not Flight of the Falcon, but, like, Apprentice of the Force, the, um... What is it? Um, 
Oh my gosh, we have to do the Lost Woods bit again. Uh, there, there's the Episode 2 game and the Episode 3 game. The Episode 2 one I don't think was very good, but I remember the Episode 3 game being alright. It was like a beat-em-up. I remember it kind of having a, a nice art style. Yeah, that little headbang animation I'm just now noticing. And I fell down, and we have to start over. Hmm. Oh, wow, we really have to start over. Like, not just, like, go back there, start over. Like, leave and come back, start over. Yikes. This is painful. Where are you going? Right here. Yep. It's gonna suck when like I like run out of health here or something and have to start over again. That'll be real fun. What 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 is happening? What is happening? What is happening? So I guess I'm starting over because my character just just glitched completely. You know, like they give you like this. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. That's just it's just how it is. It's just a fact. We all die eventually. You know. Oh wow, it's actually probably better to die, because if you die, you don't actually have to start over... Oh my gosh. You don't actually have to start over completely, you just have to start over... mostly. God, this game is not good. I just realized, does this guy have a forest named after him? Why don't I have a forest named after me? Uh, oh my gosh. I'm trying to rush now. I'm getting impatient, and it's completely not helping. Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> this is unbelievable. It would almost be better just to like, just to intentionally kill myself so that I have more health. Because I don't think I can make it with my current health.
I don't know why this is giving me so much trouble this time. It it really wasn't much of an issue the first time navigating this. Okay. Okay. Then again, there there was that one time I went through where I was doing pretty all right and then um the game glitched so there's that too where are you going okay this way This one? This one. Okay. Now where? <laughs> oh my gosh. I want- okay. Since we screwed up enough times. I want to see what this does. Here's the forest clearing. So now we go all the way back. And finally, we give the forester his damn newt. Now we can start publishing. I can get my wooden plank. As if this dude didn't have plenty to go around. Go ahead and save. I especially love how the only reason you can't just jump from that platform to get that particular butterfly uh, is because you hit the top of the screen. If the top of the screen didn't have its own collision, it would be a snap. But it does have its own collision, so it's virtually impossible. I imagine this is probably a shorter route than going back through the entire garden again. That's just a guess, though. Who knows? Has Stefano even shown up in person yet? Like, how much longer is this particular chapter of the game? What? The cow lizard gets cranky when he's tired. He wants milk. Green gem. What? And the what? There are some in the Alaskan cow lizard's tank. It's sound activated. What is a cow lizard and where do I find it? Is it in sample storage?
no, it shouldn't be, because nothing's in here besides um, those switches. That's right, this is... The... Oh my gosh, please. There we go. Actually, you know, I just thought, snake eye socket, green gem. That's probably where the green gem goes, isn't it? where it goes. There we are. Alaskan Cow Lizard. That's the name of the room. That's not just something that's in the room. That's the room. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, wow, there's just... There's just all kinds of stuff. Oh my gosh. Just 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 kill me, please. I need my I need my health back. Just 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 oh my gosh. At least there's no knockback. If there was knockback in this game, like, it would actually be impossible. This game would not be beatable if there was knockback. <laughs> it's already barely beatable as is. Do I have enough for an upgrade yet? I do exactly enough. 99 water, 99 apples. I think water's more important. It's really not much of a puzzle to do that. What? Why can't I collect the butterfly? Oh my god. Why? Why is this game like this? Oh, why? Why is this game... How many butterflies do I need for the last set of upgrades? 200. I need twice as many as what I have right now. I just thought, are these by room? I think they are. Three out of eleven. That's a lot of health. I think I think they knew they were kind of screwing you in this room. And now they've got a goddamn powder falling out of the ceiling jump did not have enough momentum behind it. As if, like, having your inputs eaten half the time wasn't enough. Sometimes that just happens. <sighs> okay. Okay, how do I, how do I get up there? It's not this, is it? Okay, okay, okay. It's really... These stars, it is completely unclear how this hitbox works. Like, where does it start? Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> momentum for that. Do I have enough? Okay, I have enough pictures now. Oh wow, do you not even need to have it facing the right way? I don't even think the game asks that much of you. Give the cow lizard milk. And the secret wall opens. And for no real good reason, that was a good animation for that. But yeah, for no real good reason, we need... Why would, why would they do this? Are they really... Okay, I was gonna say, it wasn't, it wasn't giving me the interact option. I was like, did I just soft lock? That was gonna be it. Oh, there he is. Oh, and there's the joke from the movie. Oh, and he's wearing the gloves. Remember, remember that? That's not suspicious. <laughs> Just got one of those faces. Snakeatology. That's that's a real word. There's more canned laughter. I still can't. <laughs> oh man. There's something strange. He's a spy trying to steal the viper. Sure. Meet him in the ink nook. Oh, we're already here. I recognize it because of the uh, terrible platforms. Oh, is he going to be dead in that chair? Is that what that armchair was here for this entire time? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, there, there it is. There, there's the scene from the movie with the gloves. <laughs> Phobia. Oh, I get it. I get it. Phobia. Because frighten. Get it? It's, it's not a real word, but it is a real word. Oh, there, there's him. It, he. Get the jump on him. Gosh. I wonder, like. What? What? Okay. Let's... Okay. I'd really... <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know what I did right the one time that I did it, but... Clearly, it all, it's, it's not very consistent. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
sometimes it works, and sometimes it, it just doesn't. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay, so he walks, he walks at you, and then you go like that. And then he walks at you, and you go like that. Is that it? Nope, more. <laughs> Wow, that was painful. <sighs> I need to find a map. So this whole segment... Oh, it's the leeches. There they are. Remember them? Oh my gosh, that's... Ew. Okay. Wow, that... That's really quite something. Taxi driver. There's something stuck in your engine. Get a wrench? Don't we have a wrench? A parrot swooped down and dropped an earring in his engine. And now we need to give him a wrench? So that... Okay. That's one way to, to put a side quest in your game, I guess. So we need to find a wrench. So that he can get an earring out of his engine. That was dropped in there by a, a parrot? I guess? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, not, not that one. I want this one. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so what's below us now? Who knows? Okay, so the, they're doing this again. They just immediately reuse the boss that we just fought. At least if... Okay, so if we fight him as Klaus, he's not really too much of a problem. That's an arcade game. Why did this kid... <laughs> Johnny boy... <laughs> He's got to collect 200 butterflies so he can unlock a secret. That sounds kind of familiar. Oh my god. Wait, what? <laughs> Reminds me of Wario. Bizarre. That was it? What determines... What determines when the game ends? Is it the lives? Is it how many eyeballs you have left? How many levels are there? Hmm. 
I do think it's a nice touch that the uh, the game is called Handsome Man. Don't sell bird food. He does sell veggie burgers. Just sold the last one to that guy over there. What guy over where? This guy over here? There's nothing wrong with a grown man loving video games or toys or bendy action figures. So, why is Johnny Boy telling us these things? The name Johnny Boy kind of seems to imply to me that he's not a grown man. got the veggie burger. Okay, I'm gonna dispose of all my ink real quick. This will just take like two minutes. Good god, this will take longer than that. Surely there's an easier way. Like, what if I do this? That doesn't do it? I can't, I can't just use the inhale option to, to suck water in instead of ink. I have to actually get rid of all my ink until the tank is empty and then refill it with water. Like, they do know this is a video game and they don't need to, like, follow the rules of reality, right? There we go. At least it refills faster than it <laughs> than you run out. Almost there. Halfway there. Halfway refilled. There we are. question is what what do we even what do we even need the burger for why do we need to attract birds i thought we just had to find the wrench fortune teller <laughs> i predict i will come back later all right Captain Sam's. Is this him? Already? Oh no. Great and wish the fire, right team seven of two. His earring is the one that got stuck. Hmm, and that's the bird? Does the bird have the wrench? So close. 
a floating platform. That's that's what we need. We need Violet to climb these ladders. Except she can't even. Oh my gosh. She can't even make it up there. There's another floating platform that I completely missed because. Okay. He's not going to let us take it, though. Quite a decent portion of this game seems to be focused around just getting permission to take things that are in plain sight. Also, this music seems a bit louder than most of the other music that's been in the game so far. That was close. Almost missed that one. Oh, there's a book. Or a page, rather. Okay. And we're dead. Great. So now I have to do all that platforming again. Best part of the game, really. <sighs> Best part of the game. Okay. Down. Down. Okay. Captain Sam's yard. of operation. Sporadic. That's helpful. That's very helpful. Oh, it's... I see. So we wait here and we jump like that. So was there actually anything here besides the book page? What's this? Oh, finally! So that's where that goes. Was I able to make that jump the first time and not that time? That doesn't seem to make any sense. Security prison. 
that's rather specific. And the butterfly runs away. There goes the bird. Okay, so we can move those. I don't know why I couldn't before. Maybe I just didn't quite understand what was going on. It didn't seem like I could move those back at Monty's. Oh my gosh, please! <laughs> please! that work. I swear, sometimes you just go through the floor for no good reason. Give you the Borg. Now we need to go all the way back down to the taxi driver. There really is basically nothing in this game but backtracking. <sighs> so, give you the wrench. Go give that to the captain. We have not even met our new caretaker yet. And now he'll let us take his map. I don't actually... Oh, that's right. That's what Mr. Poe wanted. So now we go back to him. And with the map, he'll be able to take us to our new guardian's house. Josephine, that's her name. Where are we going? At the end of Lacrimose Lane. In other words, go left. You've already been right to... Oh my gosh, it's this motherfucker again. <laughs> oh my god. Is this the house? You need a key to the milk delivery box. Are there bears in this area? Nope. Grammar lesson. Ah. Oh, a new adventure.
Ignition. Yarn, Parasol, Leather Band. Hmm. Oh, uh, we already knew that, but okay. <laughs> Uh, better not tell Aunt Josephine that the leeches are already in her house. She probably wouldn't like that information very much. Oh, here's a water pipe. Someone should probably tell her about the leaky water pipe, too. I get that, like, puzzles and shit is, like, basically the main mechanic of this game other than platforming, but it's so painful. It's not, not fun at all. actually wasn't sure that that would work, but it did, so that's nice. Oh, that wasn't quite enough damage. Is that the wide window right there? he had. I don't remember seeing that character anywhere. Where's he at? Did we go further? No. This room is not intended for burglars. <laughs> Shame on you, robbers, for sneaking in through the window. You'll never get past the security system. <laughs> is that what this is? That's adorable. That's adorable. I almost don't want to take the yarn from it. I don't have anything to give it. Is Sunny able to have a more intelligent conversation? But no, nope. doesn't matter who. Doesn't matter who talks, it's all the same. Hmm, is 
is locked. What? Oh, okay. She she did all this to stop someone from stealing her milk? Huh. Lacto Glub. It does seem extreme. just got on it? Where's that key go? Oh, it's the key to the milk delivery box. The one outside, I guess? That's the one that actually has something useful inside of it. Where's the window we came in through? Oh, it's <laughs> smaller on the inside. Weird. Oh, we give the milk to the cat. I get it. I understand video games. You see, you gotta... You gotta be a real expert gamer to understand, you know, give milk to the cat. You know, not everyone can figure that one out. This platform, this platform coming or what? Is this a different window? Where's one is this? I wonder if I took a different route by mistake, because this seems like a different area. This is the burglar room. Hmm, maybe it was the one like on the top left or whatever. Those ones make a sound. Is it time to admit that I'm lost? Oh my gosh! This platforming. 
Was the cat in the burglar room? I didn't think it was, but maybe it was? Oh, it was. It was here the whole time. What else did I need? No, 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 no. A weather vane. Right, 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 right. Is it now? She didn't expect us to leave now, did she? Extinguisher? Okay. So she's literally not letting us leave until we bring her the book. But... <laughs> there's no way to get the book without leaving. So if it weren't for the fact that this is a video game, and obviously it's designed around, <laughs> you know, having to do this specific sequence of events, she would basically just trap these people here forever. Oh my gosh, how come sometimes the game goes like, oh, you're, you're, oh my gosh. Sometimes the game goes, oh, you're aiming your thing. I guess you don't want to move. And then sometimes the game goes, oh, we're going to make you move anyway. I figured that apple was telling me that that was a good place to land. Uh, it was not, though. That was not a good place to land. Okay, so there's not much else to do here from the looks of it. So let's go here. We need to find that guy, now that the window's been opened. Hopefully, where, oh, here he is. Victor F. Daggerly, Hurricane Herman. Wasn't that, was that, was that a real hurricane? Was that the name of a real hurricane that happened? Or was that Henry? Oh. Flutgar. Ah, we got it. Got it. 
that looks weird. I know it's just... Well... Uh, I don't know. Like, see that? Like, doesn't it kind of look like... Like, is the, is the umbrella, like, resting on her face? That looks quite uncomfortable. Why are we going this way? Go the other way, please. Okay. Is this it? Is this what we're doing? Can we make it? Uh, not quite. I assume we just need to get higher. Delicious. That's how I describe grammar. <laughs> and finally, after, like, like I don't think Mr. Snicket has, like, engaged with us for, like, three hours. And here he comes. Just to tell us that what we just did was, in fact, all in service of some real boring shit. Like, 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 actually just doing that puzzle was probably the 45 mind-numbingly boring minutes. Help her with the ritual. Please open up all 13 of her cupboards. Make sure there are no robbers, thieves, vandals, ninjas, or pirates hiding inside of any of them. Hey, we met a pirate recently. Captain Tim or whatever. Or Captain Sam. He was he was alright. He was an alright guy. Don't knock pirates. One of the cupboards is locked, and she won't touch the key because it's got sharp teeth. <sighs> alright. You know. Considering you've got intruders in your house, maybe there's, like, other things to worry about. Well, uh, no robbers or vandals, but, uh, there is leeches. You know, it's funny, like, in the movie, the leeches are made out to be, like, this, like, horrible threat. They'll just, they'll, oh my god, this guy's bad. The leeches are made out to be like this terrible threat, right? Like, oh, they'll just, they'll just, they'll just eat you. A big old swarm of them. You won't survive. And in the game, it's just like, eh, I mean, just be careful, you know. Just spray them with water. It's not like they live in water or anything. We need to like keep that in mind now every time that we're in a place.
platforming section is that if we switch to one of the other characters, we'll be able to go way farther. So who knows what that switch did? It could have done anything. Oh, there's there's the uh, the platform that's floating now. Butterfly. Really, we should just be using this character for basically all of our platforming. There's really no reason not to. Okay, this is the locked one, as we've just confirmed via text box. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even, I didn't even realize anyone was here. <laughs> oh. Oh, I just realized. I have... It's up, okay? I've just been... I've been very engaged, okay? It's an absolutely... I just realized that you were in chat. I just realized. <laughs> right now. <laughs> I don't know if you're still here. <laughs> yeah, you can play as the baby. <laughs> And it's, it's kind of the best character for platforming now, thanks to this little parasol. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if... In Super Mario 2, like, the levels are at least, like, you could play through them as any character fairly easily. This is, like, I don't even know what's a good, like, comparison to make on this. This is, like, It reminds me... It's not quite as bad, because it, I don't think it's intentionally trying to be like this, but it kind of reminds me of something like, uh, like old games like Lester the Unlikely and stuff like that. It's not quite that clunky. Um... Does she know where the key is? Will she tell us? Okay, so we can't go outside until we've found them all. Can we go in the closet? Oh, we, like, can't even... Wow, that's weird. Oh, we need to find a doorknob for it first. So, how? Oh, that's that's all it is. You just gotta, just gotta, just gotta use the baby. I said like like, not five minutes ago that I needed to keep that in mind. Now for the platforming segments and I immediately forgot it. So there's that one. And now it's just like what? Like uh I I, I just I just saw your whisper uh like on Discord or
Yeah, like, 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 the, I feel like the, oh, wait, no, the locked one's over this way. The, the, the game follows the story of the movie, which is sort of a weird, like, truncated version of the first three books that sort of rearranges some things. Um... Yeah, I, 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 I see, like, like, um, like, like what you're talking about, like, with the color palette. I think there was a Shrek game I saw a video of that looks similar. Uh, I know when I was a kid, I played a Monsters Incorporated game that had this same kind of, like, how the characters are sort of this weird, they, they almost look like badly done pre-rendered stuff. Yeah, what, what you can stand on and what you can't stand on is not consistent in this game at all. I don't know if you caught it earlier, but when I was doing the, uh, the second book, um, there was literally... Oh, damn. <laughs> That's a nice roast. Um, there, there's literally a section in the second book Where's she at? The vegetable stand? The veggie burger? Um, there's literally, in the second book, there are, like, candles on the walls that in some rooms you can stand on them, and in other rooms you can't. And there's no explanation for why you would be able to stand on them sometimes and not others. You just can't sometimes. Nope, nope. I'm not even. I'm not even fucking with that guy right now. Um, I. <laughs> now that you mentioned the enormous sprites, I'm curious if if you compared the sprites to this and the Game Boy Advance version of Mega Man and Base, which one would be larger? Oh, there's pages up there. How do I get that? I, uh, I probably can now that I have super powered parasol baby. Damn. <laughs> no, please. Okay. Mega Man 7 is an is an okay Mega Man game. It is you already know my opinions on the classic series. Uh, Mega Man 7 is an alright entry, but it's the classic series, so... <laughs> ah, that's right, I remember from the movie, she's scared of realtors. She needs a fortune from the fortune teller. But I bet the fortune teller is probably going to have us do some other kind of dumb quest <laughs> what do you want us to do find all the matching pairs oh my god do we need to play <laughs> what is this <laughs> do we need to play a matching game using a level sized board in order to <laughs> no <laughs> why does this platform float low enough that one doesn't. Does this one? No. Do we need to, uh... Yep, we need to baby float there. Oh, at least these are, uh... Snakes don't eat flies. Oh, oh! Yeah, I, I can tell... Oh, jeez. Yeah, I, 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 I see now. Uh... From oh yeah, it is totally point and click adventure logic. Um, 
I, I'm just now realizing I've I, I have the stream like behind everything else. I uh... <sighs> um I just realized You probably can't hear anything I'm saying because you're like two hours behind. Because if, if you guys are just now seeing the cobra eating the fly, like, that's forever ago. <laughs> I'm sorry, alright? What do you mean, get my stuff together? You know my internet's terrible. <laughs> how, how many frames have I dropped? Zero. According to OBS, I've dropped zero frames. I'm pretty sure it's just, like, Twitch, like... I don't know. Who knows? I'm pretty sure Twitch just like deprioritizes. <laughs> like. <laughs> yes, but not that bad. <laughs> How do I even know what all the possible pairs are? Tornado, or it's probably a hurricane given the. Oh my god, how, how many. What is the size of this board? Okay, four by what, 12? Cards are there. Is this it? Okay, so it's four by four. And as if it wasn't enough, there's. Okay. Straight up, I'm getting a I'm getting a pen and paper for this. I'm 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 not even joking. I'm legit. I'm 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 grabbing a notebook because I actually have thought I've thought I don't know if I'd want to play uh, two and three. Um. So, uh, a, a friend, uh, Anarcho, in chat is, is saying I should play the Legacy of Goku games. I don't know if I'd want to play 2 or Boo's Fury on here, because those are actually good games. But for the for the shitty game stream, absolutely. Leg Legacy of Goku 1 is perfect for that. Okay, we got our paper. <laughs> Internet is so bad. I'm playing games from a decade ago. But yeah, that's that's it. That's the only reason I'm streaming this particular game is because, for me, it is actually the year two thousand four or whatever, and this is just what's current. Like like I'm I'm playing this as it's new. Okay.
Okay, so this one. What is this? This is. Okay, let me make my grid here. Mm. So that's a saw, it looks like. This one is a uh, potion. Uh, that's the hurricane. Uh, what was that? That was a, uh, suitcase. Oh, I need to fucking... I saw your, your whisper, Anarcho, but I need to... It's been, like, what, ten minutes? I need to tell you in the chat... Oh god. <laughs> oh, the glitch. I've see I I see it. I see the the glitch just happened on my end. we're gonna have guests we're gonna we're gonna have guests on the stream they might be quiet though <sighs> oh no <laughs> okay I think I need to configure the volume. I'm going to turn the volume down to a quarter. I like I keep like I'm I keep like seeing chat and I want to just say things to you but then I remember you're probably literally like two hours behind what I'm actually doing right now discord is taking forever every literally every time I open discord I need to update it because I don't use it very often uh, while I wait for that I'm going to keep trying to solve this terrible puzzle. Potion is that one. Storm. Uh, I should specify that that's a thunderstorm. Uh, because a uh, hurricane is... <laughs> and I killed the baby. Great. I think that's the first time I've done that. I think that's the first time I've, I've uh, killed the baby. I had a good a good track record going, but uh, unfortunately, you know, what can you do? Uh, looks like a hand mirror. let chat know Uh, 
Oh, I, I, oh, geez. I just realized. I wonder how much of that has even been audible, because I've, I've probably hit my microphone hotkey a couple times there. Damn, that fucking sucks. I've been trying to interact with chat. I, I don't know how much has even come through. Okay. I've been trying to interact with a couple people in my chat. The, the problem is, uh... Okay, that's an evil tree. Uh, the problem is... The stream that they're seeing is like an hour or two behind what I'm actually doing. voice chat because uh yui and 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 Kariki are watching a movie okay oh whoa ho, ho, i'm bumping the How's microphone the game going looks like your stream's um, down <laughs> no it is back yeah the, god damn oh. it what's 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 happening where's 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 uh where's let me see here okay this is a problem I can hear to turn me off. I can hear me in the back. Um Uh Um Holy shit, that's a delay. Okay, um Okay. Where did things go? Okay, can you can you hear me talking to you in Discord now? Yes, yes. Okay. What what do we have an issue like an echo on the stream? Uh looks like the stream's down. God damn it. Uh I'm hearing off By the way, what is it with you and just streaming bullshit GBA games? It's just it's 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 all I played as a kid. It's the only thing that makes me Got feel it. anything anymore. I'm hearing a 30 second playback, like a, a playback of what we said a minute ago. That's a Um. So what are what are you seeing right now, out of curiosity? Seeing lever and baby. Okay, okay, so so now you're actually at what I'm at. Okay, so, um, this is the matching game. It's not just, like, like a menu. It's a level. The It's a level-sized matching game. Real quick, uh, let me check audio levels. I mean, are they fine on the stream? Or, like, like say, say words. I have it muted, let me turn. I think we're fine. I think you're maybe slightly quieter than me, but you're. I think you're more compressed though, so it probably sounds about the same volume. Um, Let me leave the call real quick. Stream audio is fine. I'm muting it because I don't want to hear myself in the background. Okay. But you know. So well, first off, I have some things I want to comment on okay. about this game. About this noticed. this wonderful is... game. Where did I put my pen? <laughs> Fuck. Okay, there it is. Suitcase. The first thing I want to I want to comment on is this game has the exact same font as the Legacy of Goku game. That's unsurprising. With I mean, with the GBA. Was many... this developed by Webfoot? Who developed this? Uh, I don't know. It, there was a splash screen at the beginning of the game for all like five different companies, because like ten different film studios had to make this movie. Okay. Um, also, also, I have another thing to comment on, which is this game is continuing a trend that I have. No with GBA licensed platformers, and that is that they are always about switching between characters. You ever play any of the uh, the Disney ones on I played, the GBA? I, I, I said earlier when no one could hear me uh, that I played the, uh, oh, what's it called? Monsters Incorporated one. 
Yeah, I've not played that. The two I played are uh, Lion King one and a half, because that was actually the that and Pokemon Sapphire were the first games I got for my GBA. And I also played or got um, uh, fucking bro the Brother Bear game. And they both, but the thing is, they had the gimmick. The, so, sorry, I'm, I'm was... talking to myself as I as I write stuff down for this. No, that's fair. That's fair. Wait, so hold on, let me try and process what's going on here. This is a matching game, but you cannot see all the things that you have to match on one screen. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, like this reminds like before me of... before I started writing stuff down, I had to like go and check like okay how big is this grid even and and run assuming around the left looked and i'm assuming you looked for a map of this on google but could not no, find it because, no i because the the only care. thing the only thing i've googled is the snake because that was complete nonsense oh that's some that's some fucking sierra luke adventure game logic absolutely it's oh i killed the baby again great okay but what I what I Oh my um, god, I have to start over. <laughs> okay, so what what this this like switching between character shit reminds me of uh is it reminds me of okay, so you know how um Okay, so unlike the Disney Brother Bear games, you would switch between characters. But oh, the thing is spider. it was kind of it was kind of in real time. So like you you'd switch to one character do a gameplay section and then oh you switch back to the other character and then pull like back and forth you, like do you got you get what i'm saying you'd got, essentially guide two characters through a oh level. like they're separate you, like it's yeah, not it's have, not like yeah, this they have different abilities it's not like this to, where the where the baby's basically your morph ball no no it's 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 basically like you have two separate characters okay base let me okay imagine this you're playing donkey kong country you can Diddy and Dix and and Donkey Kong both have separate abilities, but Diddy does not follow Diddy. When oh you progress God. through as Donkey, y y you know y when you switch back from Don uh, Donkey Kong, uh, if you're at the end of level and you switch back to Diddy, Diddy will still be at the start of the level. But they have different abilities, so you have to. And you have to get them like, both. <laughs> you have to get them both through it. <laughs> yeah, and then to be fair, they do sometimes go through different sections. But yeah, that's generally how that like that that trend works. Potion is at the left side. This seems like way too much work for a puzzle. And all this that. is you know what? It's so much the... work. This is like 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 I think the the two things that have taken the longest were this and the second time I got up the tree. Because did 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 you see <laughs> I the think I noticed that. did you I see saw, the glitch before the stream went down? I saw it. Oh my god! I like floated through the entire <laughs> level, and and fell back down and had to start over. I did see the fucking glitch. Oh my god, that was amazing. And then like half the time, Violet is the only character who can climb ladders, and h half the time she just glitches around them. I would also like to say that I have no experience with this franchise. I mean, I know of it, and I saw it a bunch as a kid, but oh it was God. one of those things where I never decided to read it, and I, I didn't know the order of the books, so I just, you know, I just not never got into it. I, I've, I've read the books, and I've seen the movie. I have not seen the Netflix series yet. Uh, I've heard all of them are, are varying qualities of decent, varying levels of decent. Uh, yeah... So the the, the main, case. like, fucking early 2000s, like, book series I missed out on. You know what it was. Did you ever get into Animal... Oh, my God. I, uh, did I fuck up? Oh. <laughs> you know what this, this section reminds me of? This perspective reminds me of? Where's the other suitcase? Okay, it's... Okay, it's one higher than what I just did. You know you know what this section reminds me of? This... What? this it reminds me of the pinball levels in Sonic Heroes. Where, like, you, you can only see part of of the table at once, and you... Oh. But because... Yeah. I, I, yeah, I get what you're talking about now. What? Why don't you zoom out? Why doesn't this game have a zoom... Because it's the Game Boy Advance. No, fuck you. Like Pac-Man. Like it's you, it's you a it's an excellent point, but like that's oh my god. 
that's the reason that they would use. I mean, like, like for example, like when you the the GBA ports of like Pac-Man games, do you have a, a version with good sprites and you can Tree. zoom out and get a version with like? <laughs> this is a real puzzle. Also, also, Lid, I heard you talking about streaming Star Wars games. You should stream Flight of. I I literally said I will not do that one. I I said. No, that's why. I don't know. If, I don't. I don't know if you heard it, but I said. I, I did. That's why I brought it up. Well, I mean, I mean, I don't know if you heard the ones that I said I would want to stream. Oh yeah, I've I've actually played some of uh, Apprentice of the Force. It's pretty good. Hurricane is towards the. Oh my god. I, I'd like to watch you stream that because that game's. I mean, it's it's it's, oh, it's, it's done. A base, it's done. Like, okay. I did it. <laughs> that game. Is, well, the thing is, Apprentice with the Force is kind of a more boring Super Star Wars, but it's it's competent. It's got it's got its charms. My favorite part of this game is sometimes when you do puzzles, the NPCs comment on like, "Wow, that was fucking boring. You just wasted forty five minutes of your life." And it's like, "Wow, thanks, thanks." That's the worst shit in games, when it's like, wow, that was awful, wasn't it? Yeah, why'd you put that? Yeah. <laughs> Need to actually talk to her to get the... Wait, what? You see my comment Where's... about how, like, this game looks like every other, like, cheap, like, like Rayman 3 for the GB, like, every licensed G GB, or even, like, good GBA platformers, like, the, the GBA Crash games kind of look like this, and the... Yeah, like... a little bit. Or, like, sp the the Splinter Cell kind of looks like this. I am, I am completely unfamiliar with the GBA Splinter Cell games. I should look those up. They, look, they look like this. Just imagine Sam Fisher doing this exact watch cycle. I am cycle. familiar with uh, the Sands of Time GBA game, but that's about it. Where's the fortune? It, I didn't get anything in my inventory. Oh, what? Uh, uh, the, uh, fucking what? What's the name of the sh uh, the game? Um, uh, Flight of the Falcon and uh, Apprentice of the Force were also published by Ubisoft, so this game might have been published by them too. They did do licensed games back in so. So this is why I kind of like the GBA because you know? it's like. I think I fucked it up. <laughs> I think Here. I need to do it again. <laughs> and again. And again. And again. <sighs> I I did the puzzle, but I didn't actually get the fortune from the fortune teller. Well, you are a you are a grown ass adult who works forty hours a week, and this is what you're doing. It to is pass your time. It is, <laughs> isn't it? Hurricane is right here, and the other one is down there. Oh my God, red spider! Why? Aren't there any health pickups? <laughs> this game has the most generic fucking enemies, can I just say? Oh, what? What What do you mean? The lacrimose leeches? They're not generic. I know nothing of the books. I just see generic spider and snake enemies, and I just go, yeah. Yeah. That, that, like, like, some of the enemies absolutely are just like that. What was the... Okay, I did Hurricane. Can... Let's do Suitcase. Generic platforming enemies and wolves. You know what, you Are know there wolves? Another... Have there been wolves? I don't, I don't know wolves. in this game, but I'm just saying wolves are generally like like like. Speaking of which, you know what's the bad licensed game you should play on this? What is the bad licensed game that I should play on this? Legacy of Goku One. I I I yeah I I <laughs> when when you couldn't hear me, uh, I said um. I would consider Legacy of Goku 1, but 2 and 3 aren't bad enough for this stream. <laughs> That's true. They, they are actually good games. But 1 is one is right up, because it's... Oh, one is, Ocean, yeah, Legacy of Goku right. 1 is, is shockingly bad. Okay, so what do I still need? Mirror? The other one is up top. 
think is that the last one? Am I free? You know what else oh, no, we still need you to should road. have? Hmm. Like you should maybe have like like a complete like map of like the things and then it disappears when you and yeah. like you get to look at it first. Why does okay, the fortune is an item that spawns on the ground. Why does it disappear if you leave the room? Because this game is bad. <laughs> like the game, the game saves like like I don't know if you've noticed, but like consumable items that drop off of enemies don't despawn. They stay in memory. But why do yeah, do. why do key items despawn? That's a good question. That's a really good question, actually. Oh my gosh. What is that face? What is what face? The the ant space. Like that's just a blob. Oh yeah, all know. all of the all of the portraits. The character portraits are terrible. No, not the portraits. The the the, the, the like physical sprite space. Oh. It, it, it is hard to distinguish where the hair ends and the face begins. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. God bless the GBA shitty re resolution. You know, one of the one of the characters just commented on how bad Count Olaf's makeup was, but I mean, <laughs> all of the character sprites for him look completely different, so he must not be doing too bad of a job. The sign of a quality license game. Okay, so what? Okay, so I see what health. The health is the thermometer-looking thing. Yeah. What is the water? Weapon. Uh, that's that's the, fair. The the boy has a short-range water gun that does a shitload of damage, and the girl has a apple gun. That's what I thought that was. That uh has a terrible arc, do barely hits anything, and you need to hit them like ten times to kill them. Why are the well? I mean, I uh, but and the baby can do a Diddy Kong, a Donkey Kong. Yeah, the the baby, the baby. No, the baby is does, Kitty Kong. Well, the baby did, is did you, Kitty Kong. Did, did you notice? Since the baby's attack doesn't use ammunition, it uses stamina. It's a Dark oh. Souls roll. Wait, what? What am it. I trying to do? Is is Lemony Sneakers a series of unfortunate events? The Dark Souls of GBA platformers? It basically is. I've been at this for four and a half hours and I still haven't beaten it yet. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit of investigative like investigation. Oh yeah, that, that that was something I had fun doing. Uh I, I don't know if you if you ever watched it. You probably shouldn't, because the audio balancing on it is pretty bad, actually. Um, Keying this game up on how long is it to be... Oh, no, it's so, not there. Oh. It's not there. I want. I wanted to know. I wanted to know before I did this. It's not there. Only the console versions. <laughs> this game is so shit. and so obscure. It's... You know what? You could... You could message them about that and then post your game. Okay, okay, game hold on, time. hold on. I need to read to know what's actually going on real quick. Okay. Some other bad to mediocre GBA games you could play on. I, I well, I, I have, like, a list, but I don't want to tell you what they all are. I, I want them to be a surprise. Yeah, I'm going to go with some, some, like, higher budget stuff that you could also play. Higher but budget. like What? Oh no, like, the like, wide example, window broke. Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance is a boring ass. That's a good Castlevania game. game. It's it's I meh. like it. That's like that okay. was the I liked it. That was the first GBA Castlevania I played. I okay, that's fun. fair. I just my problem with that game is I played Aria first and like Yeah, it's it's Aria's probably better, but like it's Aria's not bad. way better. Yeah, that's true. It's just, you know, it's it's one of those things where it's harder to go back to. Let me think. What are some other mediocre GBA games? How do I get to Curdled Cave? You know what? Lion. I have a lot of nostalgia for the Lion King one and a half game. If you could play that, that'd be great. I mean, I don't have any nostalgia for it, though. And that's the point. But I do. <laughs> I need to find... You can, you can relive my oh, nostalgia. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, that's, that's, just, that's just that note. Um... Okay. 
so the game has a mechanic. I'll go ahead and show the screen here uh, so that you can see it eventually. There's books. Each book is six pages. They're basically just passwords that make certain events happen. Once you find all six pages, the pages have a button combination on them that you need to hit in a certain place. Right now, I need to find one of those to progress, which I haven't had to do since the very beginning of the game. Like, at the very start of the game, you need to... What? Okay, so we need to find all the pages to Ike's diary. So I'm curious, is this game better or worse than Galador? Oh, this is worse. Galador is actually, like, the only problem I had in Galador is uh, there's a boss where you need to use the swimming mechanic, and it's not ever explained. Oh, I, just, I, I just realized something perfect. Hmm. You know what? Like, okay. The, the GBA Crash games are too good for this stream because they're actual real video games that are fun and enjoyable. I mean, Galador's what a about... real actual video game. It's just well, yeah, but it's, it's just funny based... that it's yeah, that it's based on a show that's basically shit. Okay. What I was going to What about those isometric GBA Spyro games? I thought about those, but like that that's almost something I would want to do less for this and just to play for fun. <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, because from what I understand, I mean, they're, ooh, they're, ooh, they're... I got another good Dragon Ball game, one that I've actually played through. Is it through. Tenkaichi, you know the, only... the fighting game? No, you know, no, or whatever it's no. called. The Tenketsu? only GBA Dragon Ball game I own, GT Transformation. It's a beat. Oh, no. No. <laughs> it's GT, so I can make fun of GT because GT is shit. I don't understand how this works, but, like, the windows have broken, and now the level's different, and there's gusts of wind that propel you oh, up Oh, also, sometimes. Yui, Ricky and Yui are done with the movie. Would you like to go join them in the oh main? Oh my god, I just killed the baby again. <laughs> <laughs> Would, did, you, did you hear my question? Uh, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll exit call, and we can join even 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 more guests yeah she's still streaming uh she uh, probably will what you playing now oh i'm i'm still, still doing playing the same se series of unfortunate events for the game boy advance Liz just going to this is this is how Liz spends her free time hey i don't do this just... very often i don't do this very That's often true. You do it, like, once every two months. I have to be in a very specific kind of mental state for this shit. Bore, uh, the sort of bo passive bore. Isn't it dangerous to have this baby kind of, like... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, one of the first things I said when I was... I, I, like, the baby, like, fell down a chimney or something. But it's, like, a like a ridiculously huge chimney. And I was like, yeah, you should never let a baby or an adult it's fall fine. It's fall fine, back. Yui. The baby, the baby has a Dark Souls role. Yeah, the baby does have a Dark Souls role. Dark Souls role. Yeah, look at the... If, if I don't know if, if you're still looking at this, but there's a, a stamina bar in the top right. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... So, like, this is like Super Mario 2, where, like, one character has to be the best one. Which character? Um... Is it the girl, the boy, or the baby? It depends. Well, it's not the girl. Yeah, it's not the girl. Either the baby or the boy. Girl is, is worse. No, no. I mean, Liv, well, hmm, I think we, that's, I think that's complicated, just... though, because the girl's the one who crafts all of the items for the other characters. So if yeah, you think that's, about that's... it... So she does the real work. She does the real work. Her success. Yeah, no, Lid, typical Lid. capitalist. Typical. Lid, asking about your Mario 2 question. What? Who is your favorite character and why is it Toad? It, it's Toad. Like, there's, there's no other good answer. But Toad, yeah. Well, I think it's I'll tolerate Peach, but Toad, come on, it's got to be Toad. Mario's fine, just because it's Mario's you know bad. he's, he's bad. vanilla bitch. Mario's 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 Luigi in that game though. Yeah, no, no, Luigi... Luigi's good if you can get Fuck a hang. Him, but, but, he, but Toad, Fuck oh that's... my god, why can't I get high What's enough? Up? Mario is is better. Is is the best character? Well, actually, no, Peach is. And the best, I killed the baby. But Mario's again. better at. 
Mario is better at, than Toad when it comes to stuff like Birdo fights and yeah, boss battles. Mario is better. Why isn't Toad better? Isn't he stronger? Because 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 Mario better? has a better yeah, but Mario has a better jump, so he can more consistently land on the eggs. Oh my god! And gosh, and and dot and. I'm pretty sure. No, it's not even gonna work. Oh, it might. It might. Okay, so get as high as we can on this gust, and maybe make. So, it. so nope, lid. How many GBA good. games did you have as a kid? Um. Too many. At at once, not very many. Uh, I would usually go to like the local shop and trade them in. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, you. Were, I I was like that for a while too. How many GBA How games that do you leech have right get now? In there? Uh, physical? Yes. Zero. Okay. What is this? Oh, that's Ike's diary. The the vital fireman they're referring to is him because he's a member of the VFD. I know nothing about these books, and you're just saying gibber. The volunteer fire department. Ah, uh, okay, that makes dumb for that i mean it's kind of like not an actual volunteer fire department <laughs> like it kind of is a literal volunteer fire department but it's also kind of something more hey hey Ry, we're watching lids show. Uh, actually it's ray so not the show yet. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense with how the word the letters fit together you should just start calling me Rue. What is it? Wow, okay, how, what is What should I call it? Because there's already a Rue. We can't have I know, two that's I'm gonna let the baby die again. Just and, so I can and, refill and my And we know which one is the like dominant. Rue too. No, call me Rue and then call her Rue, but say her name slightly louder. <laughs> but, like, they let you like, yell yeah, Rue, and they got Rue. Rue and Rue! Oh, no. Good thing that nobody cares about what Lid streams, otherwise this might be kind of embarrassing. Oh, are y'all watching something by the way? Lid streaming. Oh. T to us. Oh, yeah, yeah, basically. You're and on the and stream right. I mean the Galador oh, the Galador stream has like a hundred views, so like there'll be a couple people who Oh my god, why is this jump impossible? It's because that's because Oh my like... god, it's not even it's not even there. It's in a completely different place. <laughs> you want, like, it's where the book like was. This. Why are they? Here's, here's. Why are they putting some key items where other key items used to be? <laughs> like, the why would you, you check the up. same place twice? <laughs> Is this game the worst or what? It's it's pretty bad. I'm actually. <laughs> I'm actually curious. There, there's there's one game that I think is probably going to be worse than this just because of technical problems. Uh, but there's a couple other games that I have planned that that I'm. I genuinely think it would be hard for them to be any worse than this. And there's the last. Is, what is the worst GBA game you've ever played? <sighs> I mean, it's probably Fly to the Falcon. <laughs> yeah. Okay, for context. Uh... Finally. I you actually have that as a kid, or did you play it out of curiosity? Uh, I had a friend who had it. Ah, uh, okay. So I, I did not waste my hard-earned lawn mowing dollars on that one. I did waste okay. my hard-earned lawn mowing dollars on okay, for uh, context, the Dragon Ball uh, fighting this game. Is this is flight. Well, was it Supersonic Warriors or Taiketsu? Oh no, Su Supersonic Warriors is better. T Taiketsu or whatever it is is the shit. I know one. Supersonic Warriors is a good game. Wasn't it actually developed by Arixis? Maybe I played the DS one. That was that one was fine. Oh wow, we're behind. <laughs> You're like a good oh, five no. to ten minutes. Only only Violet. Can I'm like five hours into this, and I keep forgetting that Violet's the only one who can climb ladders. Why do the Falcon doesn't even seem that bad? It's bad. No, no. 
Like you need to. Are you looking at it? Like. Like like maybe looking at it, it's not clear, but like it's virtually go, go, impossible. Go to, to the go go to the. Uh, I put the timestamp in. Yeah, I saw. It seems like a you know. You see that frame rate? What is yeah, happening? It's a game what is happening? No, no. I mean, like no, in terms is... in terms of like visuals as a technical achievement, it's all right. In terms of playing it, it's virtually impossible. Yeah, honestly, I was kind of impressed that this was on a fucking Game Boy. There's, there's one the the game that I mentioned that I think is going to be uh, a a technical nightmare in terms of performance is actually a pretty impressive feat as far as porting to Game Boy as well. But oh, you're just playing uh, every Game Boy game ever. No, no I'm just, just I'm playing one, I'm playing shitty ones that I played when I was a kid. Like I, I have a, I have a list, but I don't, I don't want to just give. Are that there away. any GBA first-person oh, shooters on that list? No. Yeah, you know, you should. You when should I play was Operation a, Desert Storm. When I was a kid, it's, it's, a, it's a tank game with little tank control. I mean, like you know, like I, I, I mean, we're, I'm playing these because they're games that I played when I was a kid. Like when I was a kid, like my parents wouldn't even let me play fucking Pokemon and shit. Because yeah, your parents oh, are fascists. <laughs> They actually are. Uh, actually, uh, opposing Pokemon is anti-fascist if... because Pokemon encourages eugenics. Damn. I don't think that was I mean... why they opposed it, though. I think it was because the the they thought it was literal, like 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 you know. Well, I'm not sure. Devil, devil shit. Intentions matter, you know. They're <laughs> in. Pr Practical anti fascist Lit's parents are the kind of people who would attend book burnings for Harry Potter, although I suppose you Basically, yeah. that for yeah, other reasons. Too. I mean, P Harry Potter is bad. Like, if they did that, I, yeah. I, like, I would be like, yeah, that's that's an alright thing to do. Your reasoning is poor, but sure. <laughs> yeah, a Harry Potter book burning is memorable. AK rolling. Book Why do they even put a water refill there if you can only stand there for like two seconds before the boat leaves? I have no idea where you are. I wonder if that will make context and uh, contextual sense. I, I left the house. I'm on my way across we're Lake Lacrimos. We pink room in the house. Yeah. We're yeah. playing as the baby. Right? I, I'm, I'm probably still collecting pages on your end. Yeah, uh, I believe that's what you're doing. Sale for sale sign. What on earth? I'm I'm getting into Curdle. So are you intending to finish this game tonight? Well, I around like nine o'clock when I was still in book two, no. But I figured, I figured I finished book two, so I may as well. Because otherwise, if I if I do it if I do another one, well, it's gonna be. There's like six of them, isn't there? Uh, there's there's like thirteen books, but there's only the the the. This follows the plot of the movie, so it's only the first three and then, an, like, an epilogue. Lid tried to look up uh, how long this game was, th this website, but there isn't a page for it. A sh shovel. Shovel was a highlighted term, so that means that I must need one. Is this a fucking maze? This is a maze level. This is gonna be terrible. Oh, I forgot about the flight of the fucking Falcon, dude. He showed me this and melted my brain. I was like, how could it live with this bad? Oh, fucking good old Ubisoft's GB department, which actually, like, they published real, like, what's the. See, the thing that fucks on me about this is that the music is also, like. <laughs> well, that's just the GB. Yeah, there's, there's some games that. Oh, the shovel. There's some games on the GBA that have pretty all right, you know. They 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 know how to use the sound chip. Yeah, the GBA and sound chip is very much is like the Genesis sound chip. Either you know how to do it, or it's a fucking mess. Yeah. Let's go back up here and try not to get killed okay. by the bat. Uh, hello, Aunt Josephine. Here's your shovel. What you, okay, we're, what? we're getting to the point where we're. That's not what we why did you, did you? We're getting to the point where we just started comparing Mario two characters to each other. So we're that far back in the stream. Can't get through that. Can 
I walk on this or do I slip? Oh, it's something, I just something charming that I'm disappointed Nintendo hasn't kept up. I really liked the, like, people, I've heard people complain about them, but I liked how in, like, the advanced ports of the Mario games they would add in Charles Martinet just saying nonsense. Here I go, you know. Like, yeah. It's nice. I, I, I wasn't a big fan of that. Although the, the port of Super Mario 2, that's the best show right there. That's the new fucking version. Mm -hmm. But fucking, I played the shit out of that. Oh, and I killed the baby again. Because it was, it, it, was, it was comboed with um, Mario Brothers. I love that. Yeah, for all of the Mario GBA games, uh, well, except like the, the sports titles and well, all the mainline ones were, did that, and I don't know why, but it was... When when I when I was a kid, like the the first like handful of Game Boy Advance games I had were were that the the first Super Mario Advance, uh, Tetris Worlds, and a game that I don't know if I should tell you about because it might be the next one that I stream. No, you want. <laughs> Are you ever gonna stream good games? Um, debatable. This is this is kind of like like bad games that I want to play and I need an excuse to play them is what what goes on here. The Voyage Outside, what? Didn't wasn't this a book I, I be, used for a completely I, different puzzle earlier? I will be right back. I I have to go across the street and take care of some dogs that I'm dog sitting for the, uh, tomorrow. Yeah, um, we'll I got to take care of those dogs. I'll be back in like 10, 15 minutes. Why am minutes. I conditioned to hear the words take care of and instantly think it means murder in all contexts? Hey, I'm gonna take care of these dogs. I got a dog sit. Yeah, I'm gonna sit yeah, yeah, real yeah. good. Right I'm dog sitting shot. for some very nice couple across the street. I have to take care of them. You're gonna kill the dogs. Oh, oh my dog. god. Dog sit. This is terrible. You like dogs? Yep, I like dogs. Are so very obviously superior to cats. Aww, don't say that. Cats are nice and great. Do y'all have a snatch on that movie list of things we're watching? Oh my god, I have to scare uh, her away. It's with not the on the marathon, sign. but uh, a couple of us have seen it, yeah. Who yeah, said she snatch? wants to leave now that I showed her uh, a fucking real yeah. real You, you haven't seen Snatch? No, I haven't. I haven't seen oh, it. We, we should see that one sometime. Okay, so right now I'm I'm going back across Lake Lacrimos with my aunt. So ideally, chapter three or, or book three should be almost finished. <laughs> ideally. <laughs> oh, cutscene. Oh no, there's Count Olaf. There she goes, correcting his grammar, just like in the movie. Oh my god, it's Mr. Poe. <laughs> I don't know if, if, if any of you have noticed, if, if you've seen enough of it so far, but sometimes when characters say certain bits of dialogue, there's canned laughter. Like it's a sitcom or some shit. Okay, I remember this. I'm gonna... Oh, I don't know how to do that. I was going to try and reset the stream so that it would sync back up. Oh my gosh, okay. Unroll the spiral carpet, attach the shower curtain rings, and a parasol skull. Okay, we're making the grappling hook. Making the grappling hook. And there's the parasol skull. Oh, they're just here? All the items are just here. 
it's not even really a level. There's the that. That. Invention complete. Is the game gonna give me a tutorial on how to use it? Okay. Press and hold the A button. In, in the air? <coughs> This is terrible. Oh, this is... This is bad. Can you just run past him? Okay, I can't... How do I... Oh! This is good. This is good. That's, that, that's not a glitch at all. How... How do I... How do I do this? Is there a way to do this? Oh, do I do this? Do I go up there? <laughs> no. Uh, no. No. Do I have to fight the dude? Does fighting the guy make the wall go away? For some reason, this particular incarnation has more health than the versions did on the last level. And that did make the wall go away, so you have to fight him. Sit here and recharge our water. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I died. Great. love when Mr. Snicket shows up to give me a tutorial while I'm doing the thing he's trying to teach me to do. But isn't he the bad guy? What? No, Lemony Snicket's the author. Oh, wait, no, he's the author. Wait, the author? Oh, okay, that's cute. Well, actually, in the opening cutscene of this, they literally say that he personally programmed the game. <laughs> so actually, Lemony Snicket is not only an author... He's a game programmer. I don't know about that. <laughs> what? You don't you don't believe it? It's canon. It's in the game. <laughs> okay. Why does this <laughs> why does this work sometimes and not others? <sighs> oh. Did I ever get enough butterflies for another upgrade? 
No, I did not. I need like 60 more, so that's not happening. up the water. Swim across here. Are there bats? No, but there are spiders. Oh, there's a bat. There's a bat. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Go away. Can't even reach that bat. <laughs> this is gonna suck so bad. Okay. Oh, here's our second rematch with Mr. Hook Hands. I need to shoot straight up. There we go. Shoot straight up and then we can swim. Charge up our water a little more. Oh, the music changed. Is it a different boss fight? Nope, it's just the hook hand guy again. <laughs> or maybe it wasn't a music shift. Maybe, just maybe, it just didn't loop correctly. <laughs> So that's rematch number three with the hook-handed man. Is that the last one, or do they make you do it again? Okay, 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 okay. Oh no. Apple core? What? I don't even have the gun that shoots apple cores. Literally completely useless at this point in the game. Oh my 
god, why is this platform weighted? Why, what is this doing? What other platform is this affecting? Oh, it's this one, isn't it? Maybe not. Okay. No, no, bad spider. Okay, what's down there? Okay, there's a staircase there, so there must be a platform. And there's a spider. The grapple speed record? The game has, like, a time attack just for this level? Yeah, no thanks. That's not something I'm gonna fuck with. The ocular device is ready to operate. I have to aim it at the marriage license to burn it. Persons of the Hinch Persuasion may be on their way right now to stop you. Oh my god. Okay, so there's, there's the marriage license. Oh, you have to like... So he's motioning for someone. Okay, so here's the persons of the hinge persuasion, as they say. Okay, so they're dead. So now the next phase starts. And what happens? Oh no, he's motioning for more. Throwing his tantrum. Which way is he gonna motion? Oh, oh, geez, there's a, there's a, there's a handful of people coming this way. Wait, what? Wait, what? I'm pretty sure this is enough burning for this marriage license to be void by now. Where are these people? These okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Nope, 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 nope. He done rampaging? Not quite yet. Okay, that's done. How long does this take? How many of these books have you read? Um, I mean, I've probably read... I don't think I read Grim Grotto. I think I've read all the others at some point, but I probably read them all out of order and, like, read some of them... I am and, back. And, like, read some of them as audiobooks. And I just lost. Um, so I never, you know, like, like I couldn't... Basically, past, like, book six or so I, I like i couldn't give you a summary of like what happens how far does this game go book three okay so and you, and, you, and you... it does things out of order 
So the like it basically does like the first half of book one and then two, then three, and then the last half of book one, so that it like that's how it work. So that you can have a proper final boss. Yeah, basically. Well, I'm doing the quote unquote proper final boss right now, which was uh refighting the chapter two boss a couple times and then uh ah, the shadow of war final boss and then a turret section which i'm doing right now i mean i call it a turret section but that's that's being very generous it's more like a <laughs> it's like a really shitty uh what would you even call it shooting gallery And it and, and, and see, what? No, you saw the first article I posted about Metroid, the Metroid Prime news. Did you see the second article I posted? Oh, about um, uh, Bamco. How Bamco? Uh, how was uh? Well, the first article was, the first article was about how like the development of you. You is probably interested enough. I'll post them. They're from the same source, but covering different things. So here's, here's the first article. Uh, now he the second article is rumor has ru is, I'll just read the title rumor Metroid Prime trilogy for Switch has been long gone oh, other Metroid oh, stuff. Oh yeah, the, yeah I did see which, that. One. I feel like whenever we get that next direct because it sounds like the January direct was canceled uh, for various reasons or whatever. Um, it sounds like that's probably the thing. Also, other projects means one of two things to me. Either another Federation Force styled game or another 2D Metro. Hopefully, it's the former. I know you weren't too keen on, on Samus Returns, but that's just because you don't. I mean, yeah, that game has problems, but you also just don't like 2.5D as an art style. Yeah. But, Lit, think about all the great 2.5D games like, uh,. What is there even really? Uh, retros, retros Donkey Kong game. I mean, they're all right. No, those Donkey Kong no. games are shit. They're not no, shit. Those games are but great. They're, they're not shit. They're but shit. like, I don't think they're much compared to rares. This is such. This final chapter is so long for what it is. It's literally a platforming section where you refight. The chapter two boss three times and then oh. a shooting gallery and i've been oh, here for like, like 20 uh, minutes kirby 64 triple deluxe and robobot okay kirby's different kirby's different okay kirby could be it's anything good. and it would be perfect that's true that's true um no 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 you don't get to come in this door sorry bucko gosh please okay he's dead yes oh my god how many waves is he gonna send before he brings his fucking marriage license back out? Uh, i will defend contra shattered soldier can That's i a good game. tap or do i have to hold i don't think it makes a difference okay 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 come on burn it yes you think you've won you think it's over? Yeah, I do. Because <laughs> I, I beat this game when I was a kid, and I know it's over. <laughs> oh, the saga is concluded. Also, Christ, that was... I just want to say... You're, you're... The fuck? People are voting Luigi and Peach in this poll? Well, Peach, I can understand, because she's basically easy mode. But fuck... Yeah, no. Um, Overwrite Kurt also, saves Lid, I like, I like yeah. how I like how you're... you're, you're Profile pick on, on Gryptonite is... Games. Gryptonite Games is the developer. Let me see what else they've done. It's Kryptonite, but with grip. Let's see, have they made any? Oh, yeah, I'm on their Wikipedia page. Let me see what else they. They've made a lot of stuff, a lot of shovelware. Let I need me see to take a look at this because I'm I'm curious what other dumb shit they made. Oh wait, this was co-developed with Activision. Yeah, they they made oh they made the GBA ports of the Lego Star Wars games. I played those. They oh. made wow. They 
let me pull up this this wiki. Um, who did the music? Does it say if they had a music guy? I I'm not like. Here's here's the list. This is this is shovelware the list. Oh damn. Oh wow. PSP versions of the Assassin's Creed game, Neopets puzzle game on the DS. Damn. This game was Legend uh, they did Legend of Spyro for the GBA. <laughs> oh. That's... Oh my god, they might have hmm, they might have actually done another game I was thinking about playing. Oh, that's not the one though. Oh, they did double James Bond Double O Seven Double or Nothing Everything or Nothing for the GBA. So that means they've developed GBA FPS. I'm gonna uh, well, actually, um, hmm. ooh, oh, they did it, the, the they did both the Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color Harry Potter games. <laughs> I've, I the only games on here that I played. They're bad. The They're is, really bad. I've, They're basically this, <laughs> but isometric. <laughs> I've played. Have you played the GBA port of, of the first Lego Star Wars? Because I own that shit. I think shit. I did. I think I played the first two. I think I played it's, both of them. They're, they're pretty mediocre. They're pretty, but they're weirdly different from the console versions. There's. Wow. This there's is... a there's a game on this list that is not the game that I think I'll do next, but it is in the same series. Do you think the, you'd the be The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. It the is, Game Boy Advance. It is not that one. Here's here's a hint. It's a it's a franchise we've talked about in this chat a couple times before. Star Wars. No, something something more specific and out there. Oh oh, you're gonna play one. You're gonna play one of their Spider Man. Uh, no, games. no, it's it's it. Spider Man's not that out there. There's something more out there than that on the oh. list. Come on, I'm basically giving it to you. Bionicle Hero. It's not that one, but it is a Bionicle game. Okay, okay. What's the other Bionicle game they've made for the GBA? Wait, wait, they didn't. Like... They didn't make it. They didn't make it. It's it's just another oh. Bionicle game. Okay, okay. This one, let me see if I can even find this it. This is. Does it even? Does this even you... have a Wikipedia page? Okay, it does. It does have a Wikipedia page, but this game has a few different names. Imagine being a more soulless developer than Webfoot Entertainment. Oh God. <laughs> I want to see. Let me look at the credits again. I want to see who did the music for this, because that's that's. Oh God damn it! I hope I was hoping you could fast forward them. Let me, but you can let me see if them. I can find the names of the game on here. Because I will say the music for this game was fucking annoying, but it did at least like okay, Ian Stalker. It did at least sound kind of like the music from the movie. This game isn't listed on their Wikipedia page. I think I might have the wrong company, but it's Kryptonite Games. I'm pretty sure it's the one. Ian Stalker, musical artist. Discogs. What did you make? You know what this... You know what You know what he did? You know what else he did? Galador. Escape Goat. What the fuck is that? Oh, you've never heard of it's like a it's like a one of those like it's it's a like retro style puzzle platformer. I remember oh, oh, oh. I remember this watching looks, Let's Plays oh. of it. I, I see exact this is like oh it's like a stylized like Commodore styled like arcade indie type. Okay. Yeah, I, I, it's yeah. What else did he do? Can you link me the Wikipedia page? He for that did. Uh, I haven't found a Wikipedia I just, I page. This, I, 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 I haven't found a Wikipedia page. Looks like um, he has a Bandcamp page. Magical Time Beam at Bandcamp. Escape Goat and Soulcaster. Although, 
Uh, oh, what's the last can I just say? Can I just say Soulcaster is the most generic fucking name? 40 plus... Soulcaster. 40 plus uh, game composition credits. Mostly GBA and DS. So, so he probably did a lot of that music for that developer. It says here he did the soundtrack for Sims 2 on the DS on his they last FM. Oh, the the Black Pearl one? Dead Man's Chest. Oh, I haven't played I played the Black Pearl game. That is terrible. Yeah, actually I think that might be the one I played. No, they didn't make Black Pearl. Black Pearl's fucking... Oh, that's like... Wait, what are you talking about? The Black Pearl game is great. You get to play as a pirate assassin. Is talking it? about the Game Boy Advance version. I'm like pretty sure that Did they made an Assassin's Creed Black Bag for the Game Boy Advance. It was kind of arcade. I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure that the Game Boy Advance Pirates of the Caribbean Black Pearl game uses passwords and not saves, so it's objectively bad. Multiple JBA games did that, and I imagine how. Why would you do that? It's not. It's, it's a GBA game. Save batteries are not expensive. But... I'll just I'll just go ahead and should I just spoil what the next game will probably be? Sure, sure. It's it's a bionicle game, I'll so I don't you, really care. I'll give you the Wikipedia uh, article. Is it is it a Faraka game? No, it's it's nothing that uh, I don't know cringy. It's the first bionicle the, game. That is the most generic bionicle game box art I think you could <laughs> have. Honestly, a lot of the early bionicle art still has that like weird 2000 cgi like i don't even i don't even quite models it's just it's just the plastic toy like like that that mask in the background like i don't even know what it is about it it's just great it's just great like like early bionicle felt like otherworldly you know and then they got in trouble for stealing all of their shit from New, e New, New Zealand mythology, so they just went, uh, reboot. Like, like, um, that, that trailer, that, like, teaser trailer for it that they had on, like, uh, demo discs that came with, like, the Lego PC games, that shit was wild. Show up in these tubes. Wait, you're still streaming. I am. I'll probably stop it in a minute. But I, 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 since, since for the Galador stream, I kept in the bit at the end where I like looked up who the composer was and stuff like that. I wanted to keep that kind of stuff in at the end too. It's been an honor to joining you. Has it? Has it? Actually has an honor been. for this, for this, this game. Nah. No, Look, you gotta start somewhere. You gotta start somewhere. If either of you can name that song, I don't know, you'll get an award of some kind. But I don't think you can. There was an Ace Combat game for the GBA. D don't go what? too don't go too deep into like like weird like stuff cuz I I might have to tell you another game I'm streaming in the past or in the future. <laughs> I'm awful with words. But but there there's it's an Ace Combat team made by a hung Hungarian developer, Human Song. Like like, you know what? Any like of the Jimmy Neutron game? No, I don't know if I played. I I you know I think I played the console one of that. I don't think I played any of the handheld ones. Was there an Animaniacs game on the GBA? That show was canceled, like, like long for for the it. exact same reason that there was an American Tail game on like the PS2 or whatever. Because twenty years after the fact, getting the license yeah, but, but is see, a that, good that's, bit that's easier. A move, but see, it, it feels less weird for movies because those are like more like rewatchable for like passing down things, but like. TV shows, I feel like, especially ones that recently canceled. Let's see. Okay, this this is like five and a half hours long now, <laughs> so I'm, I think I'm going gonna go it's, ahead and call you, it. Here. You know what, Lid? I think you might have the world record for this. 
Yeah, that's the thing is that like these games I've been playing so far, they're not on on speedrun.com, I don't think. I'm going to check it. Yeah. I'm going to check .com. I I checked Galador. There's not even a page for it after I did that. You should you should you should link the speedrun sites. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah. The port of Doom 2. There's also Doom 2, Wolfenstein 3D. Like there are there 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 are 13 games of first person shooters on the Game Boy. Do you know what the worst one Days is? of unfortunate events. Speedrun.com. A-S-O-U-E. But I think it's just the PC version. Yep, it's just the PC version. Someone is speedrunning it. One one person, the Packle, moder the, the, the run is moderated by Hot Coffee. And the, the run was rejected! <laughs> <laughs> so I think it goes without saying oh num total number of runs four number of players three and that's just that's, that's just like console game yeah, that's just a console game. No one has done the handheld version, so technically speaking, I could submit that. <laughs> I could also technically submit the Galador. <laughs> yes, you should. You should. No. So you can put world record holder on your Twitter profile. If, if, if I was actually going to, to do that, Make an um, actual attempt. Yeah, I would. I would make an actual attempt because Galador. I I beat that game in like probably less than two and a half hours. I I bet with enough practice I could get that. It's time. gonna show like the, the the fucking extreme Galador like speed running strats and you're well, gonna be like, well, oh my god. That's the thing, right? Is that these games are total shit, right? So like, <laughs> Galador has funky momentum physics. I bet there's a way you could break it and just make yourself fly uh, you, across the hold level. Hold on, hold on, We need to stop for a second. You, do you even know what Galador is? We've, I'm 90% sure we've had this conversation in chat before. You uh, only have. Galador is an obscure early 2000s TV series that was produced by the, same, by the Lego company and Lid did a playthrough of the GBA game. Oh, also it was early 2000s CGI, so... Well, no, it was... Well, there was CGI, but it was live action with CGI, which is even worse. <laughs> um, and, and then, and then like, like Galador has the weird momentum stuff, and you could probably break that. And then there's that glitch that happened while I was climbing the tree in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Saw that. <laughs> so I bet there's ways to just zip through levels. You could prob... There's probably a way to do it. But that'll have to be another time. I, okay, this time I'm Here's actually here. this time I'm actually stopping it. We are now officially over five and a half hours. I'm stopping it. Stream's over. We're done. <laughs> Stop recording. Look, Stop this streaming is a great, now. This is a great way to spend our Friday nights. The just end. Like... <laughs> okay, the stream the stream is stopped. The recording's not though. Actually, I don't even think the stream is stopped because it still has an as a what do you call it? caught up yet ellipses well yeah and the stream hasn't caught up yet so it'll probably keep going let me let me see if there's any news worth oh by the way lid did you hear that fallout 76 